production, and we're in. And here we go. We're going to get game one going. Sinji versus Tilde. This is going to be winner's quarters. All right, starting off on Talon City. And I believe this is a really good match because even though Falco doesn't get the kill off the top, he does get the kill off the side and pressure Sinji in that way. So you're going to see a lot more moves with fair, like Fair and Bear killing. That was with, a great air dodge wave. Yeah, Sinji just striking him. All right, there you go. The uphill combos that was so patent to see. Oh, oh the down air. Till they down airs. Yeah. Great we were, wait. Yeah, we were about to see a little reset, but Sinji knows about that and just manages to get away. Yeah, just pressing a button as soon as Sinji possibly could. Just to, be, just to reset the situation. Great angle right there on the recovery, but the lingering bell is going to confirm into the F smash, and here you go. Yeah, Sinji likes waiting for people to do that. Once you linger on the bell, oh, the platform yeah, trap right perfect. there. But when lingering with the bell, you're supposed a lot of people do do That's neutral good. get up in this game. Oh my god. Caught. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that yeah. destroyed Sinji at like 70. So yeah, this is why this match, um, the stage has played such a huge part in this matchup because back air just literally erases stops. Yeah, yeah, it plays such a big part. Okay, we're about to see it up to a change to reset. And 71% on Sinji. Just having to struggle getting off the ledge right now. Great ledge shot right there. Gonna read the roll with the Greek with the grab. Yeah, that, that was. Kinda, yeah, that was. I, I was, was expecting some crazy <laughs> stuff right there. I was like, all right, he's gonna read the roll, get an up tilt or like something. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot more up tilts from Sinji than we normally see. Mm -hmm. And it's you being used as a great anti air tool to just cover like great Tilde on shield. top of him because mm -hmm. we don't all know Sin Tilde likes to do dare and he's still getting dare. trapped. Yep. No jump right there. That was a perfect opportunity for Sinji to just capitalize on something. The F smash definitely going to call out the angle. All right, yeah, and you see again, up tilt. Mm. He's using it more like Mario That's, up tilt. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that was a that was a, per, a great bait, though, but the side beat into the up air is definitely going to confirm right there. And here we go. Neck and neck. Last stock, game one. Yeah, and this is a lot faster paced than what we normally see. Yeah, this is actually a lot faster pace than what I was expecting. You know, Sinji has actually been more of an aggressor right now as, as, than he has been, you know, just sitting back. Yeah, yeah kind of more of like revitalized his place out in the F-Smash. Just great call out right there. Just expecting a button from Tilde and just the F-Smash, the raw F-Smash. And that move kills at like 60. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially on town? Yeah, especially on town. Yeah, well, we're going to catch him again. Yeah, throwing, throwing the thing and just... Called out the jump, yeah. yeah. Called out the jump right there. And yeah, Tilde just presses buttons. Tilde just loving pressing buttons, landing, mm -hmm. landing on top, trying to land on top of Sinji and just always yeah. being in the space. And Sinji's just like dash back, and he also gets the reel back with the S smash. Just kind of just calling him out right there. And I didn't see what stage we went to, but okay, small uh, battlefield. This, it seems. Yeah, this is a good counter pick for uh, <coughs> for Tilde. It gives him a lot of space to uh, just. Get in on Sinji, you know, doesn't let Sinji, uh, like, get a whole stage to run away from him. And <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. All right, air dodge back on. That was great yeah. right there. Yeah, great play right there. Up tilt. We're going to see a combo. Take him for a ride. Okay. Yeah, and you already see Sinji ready using the up tilts, trying to yeah, strike right there. <laughs> now getting a combo off it. Yeah. This, and it's just, yeah. This is just something like brand new mm -hmm, to Sinji's it's... gameplay that he's just added. Oh, that was a great grab right there to just call out the spot dodge. But yeah, like you were saying, the up tilt just be doing such a great job of just anti airing. And especially because you said, like you said earlier, Tilde just likes to land on top of people. So the up tilt is just. Yeah, perfect. It's, just, it's like an anti Tilde tool. <laughs> But Tilde getting to dare right there. Ooh, not going to be able to get the conversion off of the Nair drag down, but still Tilde going to have a solid amount of percent on Sinji, and we're going to look for the up air right here. Not going to be able yeah. to get it. The back air going to get the soft hit. Yeah. Sinji oh my God. That called him out, just knowing Sinji is not going to auto-snap the ledge right there, and just the S-match called him past it, taking the first stock. And that was great recognition right there because uh, Tilde did the, F -sma or the back air and then reflected it, and the reflector did enough damage to just get... Uh, um, to just get rid of the hydrant and still have an active hitbox for him to be an advantage. So right here, gonna get the get a ledge trap, see if he can get any yeah. damage going. Yeah, and you see Tilde just playing a lot more patient. Sinji's front, he's Sinji's looking for something on shield until they doesn't want to give it to him. 
So he's, you're going to see a bit more laser. Oh, F2 right there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's like, yo, check your toes. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Conversion from Tilde. Not going to be able to get a back air off of the up air, but still going to get a ledge trap situation going. And we know how good Tilde is at pressuring ledge, but going to let Sinji just get back on stage with the down tilt into the up air. Yeah, and he's, it looks like Tilde got a jump there. He probably wanted another up tilt, but just got to jump by accident. Mm -hmm. On there, on the shield. <clears throat> yeah, that's going to be such a huge tool in this matchup for Sinji because uh, Falco's moves are safe, but not ex extremely safe. And there is just fast enough to be able to get out of shield. Yeah. And Sinji trying to go going for a read right there. Not going to get hard punished for it, mm -hmm. but got punished for the second option. Ooh, not going to be able to convert into the back air yet again, but Tilde is still going to have Sinji off stage. Let's see what he could do to get this stock in the back air through the platform. Perfectly spaced. Yeah, great job from this. Tilde right there. And just trying to anticipate uh, an item on him. Just throwing off the reflector, but it just leads into a Falco combo. Yeah, the auto combos, the auto links. Here we go. We're going to get an up air into the back air, and that's going to be it. No, nah, he's going to live. Good DI right yeah. there. And he only got hit by that because he DI'd in. So yeah. He should have yeah, to that's say, it. Oh, oh my uh, God. That one, the one with the kill screen line to us, the one without the kill screen just exploded. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this game's full of bars. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. All right, here we go. All right. All right. And then... Cat, oh, do the dare oh, to bait. Got his ass. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, but here we go. Getting into a game three. Yeah. Till they banning FD and, and Pokemon. PS2. Yeah, we're going yeah. Kalos here. And this is like a, another stage that you just really do not want to take a zoner to. Yeah, like, and I think this is one of Cindy's more favorite stages. Yeah, and it's just like you know, you rarely get to play. You get rarely get the opportunity to play on this stage because like people ban it so often against zoners. But it's like you have so many stages that are like just so wide. Yeah, and so big. And it's that's like, it's literally choose your poison. Yeah, and that's oh. exa especially especially what. Um, Pac-Man like excels on like flat stages where they get to start up their um, set play. Yeah, but we already see how this stage is not so bad for Tilde, and he already did like can leave it open, and he wall jumps with those walls on the side of Kalos. It allows for more recovery extensions for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bunch of different recovery mix-ups, and especially the platforms, like he just used it right there. The platforms on the edge. Yeah, it allows him to just avoid getting ledge trapped mm -hmm. in many scenarios. You don't always got to take the mix-up, man. Oh, the water is just pushing him away, so not going to be able to get the true combo. So here we go. Down out of shield, though. Definitely good. I think it's like frame six out of shield, which is something crazy. But yeah, here we that, go. that does sound kind of crazy. <laughs> 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 I think it's like just as fast as Snake uh, Snake Dare out of shield, which is actually yeah. frame six. Yeah, that's still crazy <laughs> enough, man. But here we go. Yeah, just going to have a patient yeah. neutral from both of these players. Yeah, both players don't want to lose the first stock because... The other player just starts running away with it, yeah. and you don't want you don't want any of these players to get momentum, that especially was, this farm bracket. That was so good right there, the mix up, uh, the recovery mix up right there, and you know it, it's just like he literally just had a, a pocket of tricks because he could literally just do whatever to get back on stage because he has so many mix ups. Be it with the, his high double jump, just be able to get back on the stage because he still has the wall jump. But oh, oh my god, the tilt yeah. and the orange. <laughs> get get some vitamin C in your blood. <laughs> All right, up smash, not going to take it. Kalos playing his part as a good counter pick. And that's a perfect ledge trap right there. Just be able to have the active hitbox of the Hydrant and just have, like, just be able to react to whatever Sinji does. But Sinji tried to play it smart, tried to get uh, the regular uh, the regular getup, but it's going to be a little too hasty. And yeah. that combo. <laughs> yeah. You know, black and combos do massive damage, man. <clears throat> and you're seeing a lot more reflectors until they're trying to anticipate something. Like from Sinji, and mm -hmm. Sinji's just not big, biting. All right, we've seen Fares coming out of shield. Okay, it's, with the yeah. patient play yeah, now. Yeah, a lot of patient neutral right now. Sinji's just dialing it back, just saying, yo, I know I've been aggressive <laughs> a bit more, but now I got the lead, with the percent lead, and you, you got to come to me. Yeah, and we're on a big stage. Like, I really do not want to interact with you. And yeah. you notice that Sinji just has adapted and just... I, I was as I was just about to say, like not using hydrant right now, because they realize that the hydrant has been more of a challenge as opposed to a uh, benefit to them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're seeing a lot more use of the thing. So he's kind of going back to his old game plan, 
and Tilde is just reflecting a lot more. I I like to I want to see Sinji like just fall back and use play with more Pac-Man's normals. But it seems like he's trying to set up for a kill right now. Yeah, definitely trying to get that bell on deck or just try to get something on, that, on an edge guard or uh, ledge trap. But here we go. You have the bell at the ledge, but holding down slightly is till they'd be able to get back onto stage without yeah. being ledge trapped. Okay, just hit him off. And being in the corner against... Oh, that yeah, was... Yeah, dare sorry. kills, man. Yeah, it definitely does. It definitely does. But that was such a great edge guard opportunity. Yeah, and oh, you saw, yeah, yeah, you, you see saw Tilde. the wave. Yeah. So I think Tilde thought he was going to get an extension off it, but he kind of just slid too far and couldn't get it. Oh, oh double dare? Yeah, that, that could have been something really huge, but uh, still going to be able to get a conversion even after getting hit by the water is Sinji trying to read an, uh, a roll in through the platform. But here we go, get to get the side B knock, no backer off of that though. Yeah, side B going through the hydrant. <clears throat> probably going to play a key part a bit later if Tilde recognizes that situation a bit more. And... Sinji just setting up shop. That was great. Great use of the reflector. Just get get this hydrant off of me. Trying to get that down here. That was unfortunate for Sinji. Oh, oh. oh and the up smash. Yeah, he just fell out because <laughs> he was out of the lemon stun. Alright, Sinji just still playing his defensive game. He does not want to lose the stock. He wants to win with two stocks. Yeah, and we are running away. Now that we have like the time on our side too, I have yeah. this stock I think, lead. Yeah, I don't think this will go to time, but he definitely can just play into it. All right, here we go. We got the bell on deck, and at this kind of at this kind of percent, you really don't want to have that in, yeah. against you. <laughs> but yeah, but great execution right there off of that one interaction. And here we go. We're about to have a lead off of that grab. Yeah, just one mistake from Sinji has cost him the lead, and is now in a difficult situation. And you see these up tilts coming back on. He's playing with these normals. <laughs> Yeah. And that move is so safe on shield. You literally yeah. just cannot Yo, punish that. You, you literally just have to hold that. <laughs> it, it feels like the, one of the most broken moves in oh the game. Oh, my God. And it, he just does it. You said it earlier. Yeah. You really called it out earlier. You were like, all right, we got to wait. You, now we see that the hydrant, that side B goes through the hydrant. And that was just a perfect execution yeah. from Tilde. Just perfect adaptation. Just matchup experience, too, that he learned mid-set. Sakurai would love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That yeah. was that was such, like, great yeah. intuition. Yeah, great use of that knowledge, just knowing the spacing, that he can just do it. Mm -hmm. And it will hit Sinji, too. So I'm sweating. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sweating from the set. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, I was like watching that. I'm like, oh my god, this oh is so god, tense. Oh and then Tilde just literally scratching and sc like <laughs> and clawing, bro. Like yeah. scratching and clawing his way out of that deficit. Excited. This is gonna be fun. I love watching the low tears go at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're an animal. <laughs> it's like watching the monkeys fight. <laughs> All right. Great weight on the spot dodge right there just to start it off. And not even, like, having, a, a, like, a knowledge of, like, how show plays. Just reading the spot dodge yet again. <laughs> yeah. So we do have a Meta Knight that comes to this local booty who is fairly okay, fairly good. And so oh. Vivi probably has experience playing against that Meta Knight. Oh, great. General. Oh, my God. Oh. That was yeah. That was almost a great edge guard though. Just trying to get everything that they possibly could off stage. Yeah. And the dimensional cave just a lagless move. Let me just get back on the stage for free. But the tornado is gonna set up for that. Okay, so coming out with the down tilts. Yeah, you can't. You literally just cannot punish that. Yeah, no, you cannot. <laughs> show really good at sharking right now. Just able to get under VV at the correct moments. Oh, watch your shield. Okay, watch your shield, watch your it. shield! <laughs> hey, oh, that's how it's done. Hey, yo, watch your jet! Yeah. Watch your jet, watch your <laughs> And it, it just seemed like Vivi just didn't know what to do in that situation. And I feel like it was past, like, the 11, like, the, you know, the 11 hit rule yeah. where you just, you could roll past somebody's shield after 11 hits. Like, yeah, Vivi no. probably should have been able to roll past or, like, roll behind. Like, well, just yo, do something. Yo, when you're scared, you're scared. Yeah. <laughs> And show already just taking this, this a lot hits? further. Oh, great. 45%. That was a great hitbox, um, hurtbox shift from VV right there. Just realizing that if I shift my hurtbox with this uh, okay, forward so, air. Yeah, not going to take it right there. Put center stage. Yeah, but any of these hits can oh, kill life. Yeah. him. Oh, no, you're and, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah side yeah. B kill him right there. <laughs> and with Lucario, uh, who has an innate comeback mechanic within himself mm -hmm. called Aura, yeah. just able to make take these stocks a lot quicker than a lot of people anticipate. Mm -hmm, for sure. And, like, you know, like, having those combos that just set up 
and then either you're above Lucario or you're off stage, like back air just being such a crazy hitbox and then up air. Okay, then I get oh the reset he wants. But yeah, just being prepared for these situations. All right, good job of VV knowing what to do in that situation. Yeah, that was a very risky dimensional cape right into VV. VV definitely going to do that down air. This will get that punish, but the dimensional cape slash not going to be able to close out that stock. Yeah, and Show making good use of the dimensional cape mix ups, just using it as a recovery tool, using it as like, yo, am I going <laughs> to hit you here? Or and maybe just not. And I do like the tornado usage mm -hmm. to try to two frame VV. All right, landing on top of him with Nair. Definitely good spacing, though, and great, great weight right there. Just going to be able to cover two options at the same time, unless VV regular get up. Yeah. Oh, just charging with space and then just not nah, psych. I'm going to grab him. <laughs> I'm going to grab you. Got his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just trying to tackle more right, damage. Here we go. And this is like the perfect amount of rage. Just got to get VV into percent, and then you get them into that ladder situation. All right. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna take you for yeah. all around. No, that's just <laughs> great. Smash the eye that's from great, Yeah, He manages to the eye way, and the final hit that probably would have sent for the upbeat just mm -hmm. not working. That was great option coverage right there from VV. Just gonna be able to get this ledge trap going, and yet again, the down air out of shield. Just anticipating the dimensional cape. Let's see if we get a mix up, and here we go. The same thing three times in a yeah, row, but yo. got his ass the third time. Yeah. <laughs> there was a small variant on that last one, man. <laughs> Yeah, he gets so much. <laughs> he gets so much drift with it. Yeah, and then the fact that it's literally lag. Oh, that yeah. was that was sneaky. Yeah, double, yeah. I actually never seen that I've one never before. Seen that one. He did double side, double neutral B, just to combo into a back air. That was sneaky. Yeah, kind of slick. Yeah, yeah, we still got ladder percent though right here for show. So, DV is gonna be able to get that bread and butter. And yeah. we have a good amount of t percent tacked on Lucario last stock and keep charging these aura. Yeah. Ooh, good directional air dodge right there. And you see Vivi do a lot more dashbacks. Mm -hmm. Just trying to bait Show into doing an attack. And Show's been taking the bait. You see in the dash or the jabs just coming out. And Vivi just punishes him for so many times. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of uh, a lot of like just sitting back from Vivi. There you go. Like yes. I said, just you know, dashing back, waiting for an opportunity to go in, and you know, just capitalizing on the major opportunity, like on the like the major part that they can. Yes. Show just playing scared. As yeah. you see right there, he's gonna do an air dodge right there. And so like nobody wants that. And yeah. then catches tries to do an aggressive option, but Vivi's prepared with that. Mm -hmm. And the lean back foot with Lucario, he leans yeah. with it, he rocks with <laughs> it, man. So And then you know, just all that damage from like the aura and you know, just being on last stock, you know, it just comes into it all comes into effect. Yeah, Vivi definitely plays into it. He's just really good neutral and like a really good bracket character. Mm -hmm. Lucario, not the greatest character in the game, but, but they make it work. You make it work because yeah. it's like this character does hit hard, mm -hmm. and when when he hits you, it's like, man, I'm dead <laughs> at like 20. The show yes. stays at 60, but we're show choosing a smaller stage here. I, I like it because you have the middle platform to just be able to get platforms exten platform extensions. Um, definitely a reason why I did that I like this counter pick for VV, like as a like a, in character because we know that he also plays a hero. Is like Lucario is like a slim body, so it's kind of yeah. hard to combo him sometimes, and especially with like like you know like juggles and like moves like um, up air and like down air. You know Lucario yeah. just shifts their hurt box. Yeah, Lucario really good at just, just moving out of the way while doing moves. And, yeah, you see right there, he recognized that he could just roll out that situation mm -hmm. before he got his shield broken for it. So, yeah. <laughs> adaptation. <laughs> oh. Yeah, getting caught. Not going to die right there. Not enough aura or enough rage to kill that early of a percent right now. But definitely something show should be on the lookout for. Oh, and that was great recognition from BB realizing that shows uh, that Meta Knight's ledge hang actually does get hit by the aura sphere. Yeah, he, he does not dip that low. You see those yeah, arms? Yeah, yeah. Those, those, <laughs> the, <laughs> he, got, he got those Kirby arms. Yeah, <laughs> the sausage Dream, arms. Yeah. Dreamland ain't doing him well. <laughs> All right, but here we go. Show definitely still completely in this first stock. Just got a little antsy with the uh, dimensional cape right there and Vivi just playing as back as they have been for the past like two stocks now. Yeah, and now getting comboed. All right, man, that was, a, that was so much damage. Okay, I'll be not gonna take it. Lucario is heavy on the heavier side. 
Oh my oh, god, yeah. I, saw, I saw he died. Yeah, I also thought, I he, thought died. he died. But remember, this game is full of liars. Let's go, oh, right there. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, but that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely. Oh be my it. god. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Just SDA trying to take stock for stock. And this just plays so much in the VVs no. game. Well, at least he doesn't get that much aura. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Because you have rage and aura, you don't want to deal with that against yeah. Meta Knight, uh, against uh, Lucario. Lucario as Meta Knight, because Meta Knight is like a, a lighter body. So you really just do not want to die yeah. that early. You're going to have go, a bad gonna, time. Yeah. Going to dash attack Lucario shoot. We're going to have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nair, good job to cover the spot dodge. That's great adaptation right there. And oh my God. Th yeah, definitely not trying to aim for a two frame. He's desperate to get these early stocks. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. there yeah. it is. <laughs> yeah, and VV just falling into it. Let's see what happens. And we keep seeing these dimensional cape mix-ups coming from Show, and you know they're just going for a mile for them. And uh, read the da uh, read the roll with the dash attack, but not going to be able to get anything off of it. So right now we're probably going to start looking for combos off of the down throw as opposed to the yeah. dash attack with the call yeah. out on the dimensional cape and the F smash from center stage is going to be able to close that out. Yeah, one dimensional cape too much. Yeah, yeah. You got a little antsy with that one. He was like, yo, I haven't been hit for it once, but it only takes one to lose a set. Oh. That All was right, a great, yeah. that was great right there. The fade back Nair just to be able to cover the roll in. Yeah. And then just the perfect call out yet again. Just do it a little too much, and you're gonna get. You're gonna yeah. have a bad time. You're gonna get. <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. You have a bad time. All right. I wouldn't say he's super offense. I've seen him like camp with yeah, Isor, yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. But I mean, like their execution is immaculate. Yeah. Like you know, like you get, like you see Quid get their advantage going, and then like just take it for a mile. Just especially with like with punishing and just being able to like ledge trap and edge guard but here okay. we go just gonna be able to try to get something going off of the downer not gonna be able to get all hits of it okay and numbers just calling out the jump with the sun salutation and numbers is not someone to be slept on yeah, if you like sure. don't know oh my god if you don't know like we fit numbers will blow you up great combo right there for quid gonna try to get the the whiff punish or the punish on the uh the limit charge. <laughs> yeah. Deep breathing. Deep breathing. <laughs> hey, it can be I a just, limit charge. It itself. is limit. I, call, I literally, I will not call that move deep breathing. I just call it limit because it's literally better than limit. <laughs> Man, the anime fans will love you. <laughs> All right, yeah, great was, weight by yeah, that was right a there. Great turnaround grab too. Yeah, knowing that I'll numbers is just in disadvantage and he's going to do a panic option and numbers. In oh, great recovery from numbers though. Yeah, just barely getting on and still being able to cover the roll. Numbers is not out of. Thing yet, and up he taking the first stock. That was so sneaky because they low profiled with Ivysaur Dash to get under the the um, the header and yeah. just snuck on, snuck in the up beat underneath. Alright. Start salutation charge charging up. But here you go, you just have this lead, you play back, you don't want to interact with Weefa right now. Nope. But going air to air, you definitely don't want to do that with Weefa either because her aerials are so strong. Okay, dash attack just barely missing. Nice down tilt. Yeah. And Quid is one of the few people I've noticed he hasn't done it much yet, but he will dash attack with IV. Yeah. And just for like mini burst options. Oh, oh, oh just try to catch him right there. And lucky for Quid, he did not get the spike yeah. hitbox, but dying right here. He's still gonna eat that F till and you know, we fit F till how strong of a move that is, and you know, Ivy Sword is in the heaviest body, so it's yeah. gonna be current for IV. Oh, great recognition for John, knowing that you can grab it. A lot of characters cannot grab in that situation. Yeah, which I mean, that move is so safe. <laughs> yeah. And he just, he's like, yo, come here. Oh, great. That was such a good anti-air. Yeah, and no, Quid just recognizing that he won't be hit right there and from John's rising aerial. Because that's a frame five move out of yeah. shield, man. And, and that hits hard. Yeah. We fit drop kicks. <laughs> Definitely got her. <laughs> Switching music out of shield. Yo, it be like that, man. <laughs> All right. Quit already gone. Trying to go on advantage. Uh, got a little antsy right there with the up B. Uh, try, uh, they like auto links uh, off of their combo. But here we go. John Numbers is going to be able to go for this ledge trap. Okay. That's dash, great recognition. Yeah, dash attack. Just take them out. I like the deep breathing right here. Oh, completing the volleyball oh, and F smash. Raw F smash. Gotta hit him with it raw sometimes. <laughs> you definitely do gotta go in raw sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Down there right yeah. there, that's definitely gonna be pretty free. Yeah, definitely calling out this weight for from numbers right there. Oh. And weight, knowing everybody likes to jump in that the situation. Cheeks. 
Yeah, so <laughs> jump, <laughs> jump is a really common option in this in this game because it's frame three. Yeah. And everybody just gets to jump so high. So John just knows like, yo, I'm just going to anti here. Yeah, with and the cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> the cheek hit bug. I can't believe that. All right, I'm going to see a few up tilts coming John's way. Yeah. Oh, the bait from the sun. That was a great crouch right there, just recognizing that John was going to try for go, uh, try to go for a header right there in neutral, but we do have the advantage state set up. I'm surprised we didn't get to see the swap from Ivy, but here we go, the ledge trapping. Yeah, here, we there we, here we go. Oh my god, and that's it, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. that was a great, great way on the directional air dodge, just calling it out with the down air. Yeah, that looked like a critical yeah. hit, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it sounded like so meaty, too. Yeah, it was like, play a bit of Pokemon, it's like, yo. I, I mean, yeah, just, man, that wasn't supposed to kill. <laughs> All right, we're going Battlefield. Mm -mm, so, mm -mm, right back. Mm -mm. Yeah, we're just immediately running back, which is... Yeah, the stage wasn't really a problem. Yeah, 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 definitely not. It was just like, again, Quid's advantage state, they, when they just got it going, they just took it for a mile. Yeah. And it was great recognition on Quid to wait for numbers air dodges, because... Mm -hmm. And stalls, because numbers did like to stall going low. Oh, yes. Or like air dodge to save, and Quid just tried to punish it. And that's how the first and second start goes. And oh my that, God. I believe that's up tilt. Up tilt, yeah, yeah. it's up tilt. Her arm is it's intangible, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and everybody likes challenge, yeah. challenging like that. It also feels like it's a lot bigger than what it's supposed it to be. Than it actually is, yeah. It feels like a disjoint. Yeah. Because it is, actually, because yeah. it's like, whenever moves are like intangible like that, it's quite literally just a disjoint. So you really don't have a lot of like options around it unless you hit it from underneath. But great recovery right here from Quid. Just going to be able to get everything they could all yeah. using all their resources and just getting back on the stage perfectly. There yeah. we go. This is going to be a big combo for yeah. down throw. Ooh, not gonna Yo, just not taking it just yet. Oh but getting the reset. Yeah, and John jumped there. He could have died. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> right. Great recognition from Numbers, though, just not jumping in that yeah. situation. But and here we go, just resetting. Yeah, Numbers at ledge. Place where some people say he calls home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on you. Yeah, just waiting. Or probably going to see a bit more flamethrower. And Quinn is doing such a great job. This game was so far out, and John's already at 87%. Just and from, like, a one... Not one less try, but mm -hmm. just just scenario. Yeah, oh. just one, just having advantage state one time. Yeah. Just gonna read that roll and actually having enough rage to be able to kill right there. You know, I think like I, numbers got hit at like 88, like a high 80s or like low 90s, and the fact that it still killed is kind of surprising. Yeah, and I also felt like numbers just wasn't prepared mm -hmm. for Quid to like super cover that option. Oh, yeah, bear out of shield. You cannot yeah, hit the back shield. of her. <laughs> bear out of shield. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, but damn, what a conversion right there. You're just going to be able to get 30, 39% off of that one interaction. But here we go, soft dash attack. Going to confirm it to the forward air. And here you go, you have Quid at ledge. All right, John neutral guts up. And Quid just running with grab, just recognizing the situation, putting John off. Yep. And Quid's ledge trapping with, with Squirtle is just perfect because they do that, and then you just have this free situation. Yep. Yeah, up e. No, oh, not just yet. Oh, but then they're going to set off stage with no jump, and here you go. You're dead. Yeah, you're good. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> great, great job from Numbers. And I really like it from Quid, just not giving John the chance to do deep breathing in those situations. Mm -hmm. You see him like to pressure John off stage and just say, hey, you got to air dodge to cancel this or jump. Yeah. So yeah. that's just burning a defensive resource, and I'm just going to kill you for it. Yeah. Oh, but that, the directional air dodge right there, very committal. Oh. Yeah. But still going to be able to get onto stage for free, thankfully. Still going to be, uh, John Number still going to be in the end lag of uh, up B. But here we go. Yeah, and now you've seen Numbers on more of the offensive end. As I say that, Quid's coming Quid. in with these bears. And, oh, you're oh. dead. Oh, my God. No, not just oh, yet. Oh this is God. why we picked that up, <laughs> baby. Oh, my God. But okay. still going to read the air dodge right there with the up -y And wow, just going to be caught without Legend Bits ability right there. For Quid and the dash attack is going to call out right there. Great recognition from John Numbers realizing that Ivysaur does have that little stall. But you yeah. can punish it with the dash attack. Yeah, can't regrab grab You lose your invincibility in this game. Yo, the cheeks are coming in clutch for numbers. Yo, he likes them. <laughs> <laughs> they let him run. All right, covering the roll again. Oh. Just such recognition. What's going on? And you seen the weight? Yeah. yeah. That was, damn, the, the numbers mm. immediately out. Mm -hmm. All right, so Quid takes it over numbers. 
right here. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, that was great. That, uh, they just, uh, Quid just had every option covered right there. They, they just played, like, I'm going to play the high game with you. If you come with me high, I got you, you're dead. Yeah. But they were still in, like, the perfect scenario. Oh, that was, oh, they covered, they covered going low with the yeah. down air. Okay, and then they had the high yeah. covered with yeah. the F smash. Whoop. So that was just great just, recognition right there. Just options covered, mm -hmm. man. Literally, oh, I'm sorry. Just nah, options, right. so like, just all, every everything is just wraps. Stepping <laughs> on my J, my sorry. slider J's. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> my I'm croc sorry. J's. The croc, <laughs> <laughs> the, the two Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, PS2. Yes, sir. Everybody's favorite starter. <clears throat> the Cheetah Prince, man. Yeah. And I'm already going to say this. Raptor, one of the more patience Yoshis you'll ever see, will, willing to time you out. Like, he loves it. It's in his blood. Yeah, and Bobo just playing Snake as the way that they do. They play very aggressive, but whenever they need to, they just play fair. They can sit back, you know, just take my lead. I'm going to just chuck these grenades at you. But here we go. You have that lead right now, and you have Yoshi off stage. What are you going to do? Just going to try to set up the ledge trap, but then air from ledge from Raptor just going to be able to close yeah. out that ledge trap. All right. Oh, just barely missing the grab right there. And this is going to play a big factor. Yoshi's shield cannot be shield mm -hmm. poked. So these grenades will definitely do a bit more damage to Bobo and than needed. Oh, 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 oh I'm up egg. there for you. I'm up there for you. <laughs> Yo, he tried egging them. Yeah, I'm up there for you, yeah. bro. I'm in there. Looking like a bit like Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Trick or treat who? Yeah. I got some treats for you. Oh okay. my god, the second hit of F-Tilt not going to be able to connect. And again, the Nair from Ledge from Raptor just going to be able to get them onto the stage securely. But here we go, the low recovery and yeah. the miss. Yeah, and Bobo just a bit dodge. scared, just air dodging a bit early in fear of Raptor's punish. That was a great stall right there from Raptor. Just take, realizing that they have a lead and like you said, just playing very patient. And here we go, taking all that damage for a mile. The F-Tilt up air, up air, Nair. Yeah, 67%, 77% now from that grenade. And Bubbles <laughs> just trying to reset to neutral, trying to find something. And Raptor, see, ready to dash back, just not willing to give him anything. And something that, like, you know, all snakes love to do, Snake loves to trade. But a character, against a character like Yoshi, you re really can't find the opportunity to do that because Yoshi is so heavy as well. Like, these characters are very close in weight. And Yoshi just lives forever. So you really just. Like, you don't want to go trade for trade with a character that's this heavy. Yeah. And that F tilt, not going to be able to. Oh, oh just, direction yeah, actually, dodge or yeah. LP in the blast zone. Yeah, not a fan. Yeah, GG's. All right. But you see, Raptor already playing this game. And again, Yoshi's oh shield so being invincible, but now dropping it and yeah. taking 47%. So good job to Bobo. Yeah, that was just a crazy execution right there. Just going to be able to get the grenade. I think the C4 blew up Raptor too. Yeah, uh, it looked like it lingered there because he definitely shielded the initial hit. I'm up there, I'm up there. That was oh. a great stall with the down air right there from Bobo. Just great recognition. And here we go. You have Raptor off stage after taking that, losing that stock to an unfortunate SD very early. And just very, very slick with the movement. Okay, Jabs just pushing him off. And both players can die at this percent. Snake does hit really hard. Mm -hmm. So and, Yeah, and up tilt. <laughs> yeah. That was a great, very, very quick uh, option right there from Raptor. The quick Nair just be able to zone break. And yeah. the dash tag to another zone break. Okay, great air dodge. And I'm waiting to see the back airs from Raptor. Yoshi does. Oh, no, up tilt. Okay, yo. Yoshi can pressure with back air. Okay, just letting him back onto for free. Nice. All right, and now we are slowly reaching that percent where uh, grabs start to combo into up tilt for Snake. So, yeah, that, really, that, definitely got to watch out for that. That's definitely a scary percent. <clears throat> like right. you've been in up tilt percent for like thirty percent, especially with all the rage that Bobo has. But now you're just like, all right, now if I get grabbed, there it yeah. is. <laughs> it's over. Switch of music. Yeah, and now, <laughs> now you see Bobo with the lead. Oh my god, and that killed off the top. Yo, he walked on him. <laughs> <laughs> Yoshi there, did massive yeah. damage to him, but also killing in that situation. Why do all of Yoshi's aerials kill? Hey, he needs yeah. it. <laughs> That's what they I tell me. I guess. That is what they tell me too. <laughs> but don't, oh my god, so much damage right there. Gonna be able to convert the uh, C4 into the up air, and the frame three jabs is gonna be able to clank right there. Yeah, and but Raptor's at 52%. Oh, he stuckied him. <laughs> Sticky icky. He stuck he He didn't realize he was stuck Yeah, no. I think he tried walking to, like, have it drop. 
but it just didn't fall yeah, off. Yeah, you gotta, you definitely gotta do a little bit more walking than that. Yeah. All right, but here right. we go. We have the lead right now. I'm definitely just gonna run away from you. I'm gonna try to get all these explosions, blow you up a little bit, and then you know, switch fish for the sweets and music. Yeah, and this is the big thing. This is the first time Raptor has had like a significant um, deficit mm -hmm. in this game. So he, d I doesn't, don't think he's as familiar on what to do. Oh my god! But he's pressing off Robo off stage. I think you have no jump either. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> just barely off. Tried to like alley oop him. Yeah, almost had. <laughs> he literally tried to alley oop himself. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. wait, hold on. Grenades the low. What is it? Oh, I like that. Oh, but the up. stars hitbox right there in the upper. Not gonna be able to close it out. Here we are. I'm all the way up there for you. But great, great mix ups from Bobo. Just to be able yeah. to get back onto stage. And Raptor just respecting him so much. Oh, that lingering back air with the rising fair right there. Oh, he did not know. The sneaky. The sneaky C4 right there. Yeah. So, Bubble taking game one by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, the skin of his teeth. That was crazy. <laughs> and especially after the deficit that they started off, you know, because yeah. that, the, um, just the SD off the cypher. Where was it? it was oh, it was on the platform. Or was it on the, hold yeah, on. Let's, let's rewind it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. You see, you see the fair come out? Okay. Um, yeah, it's in the corner on the platform. Yeah, right there. You literally see it blow. Yeah, it's right on the platform. And, and he calls for it. Oh, my you, God. You, you, you <laughs> I would have got hit by that. It's with the I would have got hit by that, too. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's true stealth, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sneaky. All right, back to PS2. And I'm okay with this because Raptor didn't do too bad. The yeah, situation. It, wasn't, it wasn't the stage that lost him the set. Yeah. Or excuse me, the game. Uh, maybe the set. Maybe the set. <laughs> I would be pissed after I have lost the set. <laughs> Alright, but here we go. We're going to get the set play going. Raptor with the lead, so they're going to definitely be comfortable uh, just camping with the eggs and just being able to take advantage of Yoshi's pretty solid mid-game. Oh, I like the spot dodge. And knowing the spot dodge bubbles, grabs like that, kudos to Raptor. Okay. All right, nice back air right there. Gonna yeah. be able to cover, cover um, the regular get up. And we did not see back air come out any of game one as much from Ra Raptor. So we're seeing it come out a bit more often. And back air is opponent to, for Yoshi to kill. All right, that was great. That was great. Just a little delay on the jab. Just be able to, uh, let me set up this grenade. Let me cook it a little bit more for you. All right. huh? Okay, oh. the trades is benefiting Bobo. Yeah, especially you're like, if you're Bobo, you're like, I need this rage. I want my up tilt to kill you after the, in the next interaction that I get. Yeah, and, and up tilt know. definitely will kill right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, arms intangible at the beginning of that That's, dash oh, attack. There it is. Up tilt. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, just falling from a platform and like landing onto Snake, you really don't want to do that because Snake's hurtbox shift is just so strong. Yeah, it's so, one of his like best attributes. Oh my God. Yeah, the double jump armor just saving Raptor right there for another like 20% because that, that Nair would have just done so much. And I think the grenade. Oh my oh, god! Back is. Bobo is. Bobo He's wilding. Is wilding. <laughs> oh my god. He's just calling him out with everything on Legend right now. Just getting everything going with the great recovery right there from Raptor. And you are just about like. 10, like 5, 10% from up tilt percentage. And here we go. Gonna get a ledge trap. Trying to get something off of the regular getup, but. Yeah. Okay, good job, Shielding. Can't get oh, Shield Poke, but definitely yeah. tries to overextend for that one and gets blown up for it. Literally. That's how it be. <laughs> okay, back throw dash attack. True combo. Yeah, 23%. Looks so weird too. Yeah, no, that and uh, up throw up tilt. Yeah. <laughs> but that's my favorite. Up throw up tilt is my favorite combo in the game. It's like, yo, this shouldn't be hitting. <laughs> but yeah, back air, back air and snake while he has a grenade isn't the best move because Yoshi can blow right, up the grenade. Go. Oh, got oh. his ass. Yeah, just threw an egg at him. <laughs> got his ass. Back. What are you doing up there? Okay, good job getting off that platform. No, recognizing the C4 and. Raptor looking to find get something started. Oh no jump here. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead if he if he gets this. Yeah. You're dead. Oh my god, yeah, he, he didn't even have to do that. 
<laughs> but great execution right there from Bobo. Great recognition, getting Yoshi off stage, getting yeah. him into disadvantage, and you realize that you just got to get everything off of that. Yeah, yeah that's great that recognition. And yeah, you're dead. Just knows air dodge is the only option, and air smash just boom. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Now Quid versus Vivi. Quid has been on the up and up, being an incredible Pokemon trainer player. Uh, many out there saying best in NA, and I can't say I disagree. Mm -hmm. And we have Vivi, who is someone who we actually are very familiar with in these top eights. Uh, Hero Lucario going to opt for the hero in this matchup here, and we're going to get right into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen Vivi really turn it up recently with the local results, as well as actually seen some Sephiroth play and uh, the Lucario. We've seen a lot of hero recently, but it seemed like Lucario was a little on the back foot for a bit there. Yeah, definitely uh, a character that Vivi still has in the arsenal. How we're getting into this game number one. So so far, we've seen the advantage they've been incredibly good uh, for Quid. Quid in the corner right now, having Vivi, maintaining stage control, and Quid is really good about doing that. Once again, back air, trying to track Vivi down, keeping Vivi in that corner. Again, doing such an excellent job of that. Yep, and we're seeing a lot of like classic Squirtle gameplay here, really centered on the ground, looking for these uh, good conversion Squirtle, very quick, very good at the wolf punch. Ooh, looking for tech chase now. I love the usage of Smash uh, Razor Leaf there, getting at max distance, covering all that tech chase. Going to probably do it again here. Vivi ended up getting his shield out that time around. Ooh, and that is such a huge side for Vivi, keeping uh, Quid into the corner. Now, once again, Hero's Lost Trapping so, so strong, especially with a character that doesn't have exactly the strongest disadvantage state like Ivysaur. And we've got a really interesting thing here, not only with Bounce to deal with Razor Leaf, but also the side B Ooh. sends the lightning down. And the spacing there, so, so good uh, by Quid. That F just perfectly in place to get uh, that stock. And we see Quid with the lead here. And Charizard, I think, is a really interesting choice uh, to stay here. You're already at that 141%. You already have there, are in a position where you have Vivi in the corner. The ledge trap now begins. Flamethrower out, not going to be able to hit Vivi. That usage of um, Accelerality to get back to the ledge was excellent. Ooh, but the ledge trapping still, and the stage presence from um, Quid has been so good. Yep, but very good usage of the patience there, trying to take advantage of this rage with some heavy hits from Charizard. Yeah, and right now, uh, we're seeing the difficulty of uh, Vivi to get off this stock. Has not really been able to maintain an advantage state for very long. Um, that's one thing about Quid that is incredibly strong. Excellent luck right there, mm -hmm. more than anything. Yep, the uh, return catching point that on zoom. That is random. Ooh. Oh, and gets the dunk too. This is really looking good for Quid. Yeah, a, a huge two-stock lead to start this game, number one. Um, once again, Quinn has just done an excellent job of keep maintaining stage control. That's huge so far. Can we get right again? No, okay. Just going to maintain center stage as Quinn has been doing so far. Jab to jab. And Hero is another character that, similarly to uh, Trainer, does at times have trouble getting down to the floor. However, Vivi, with that fair on the corner, going to be able to take that stock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, this is really in Quid's favor on this one. Got a favorable percent for Squirtle to get some work done as well. And it's stock up. This is very difficult for Vivi to make the comeback in here, but not impossible. All right, a quick up throw combo. Keeping um, Vivi in the air. The juggling has been excellent so far um, for Quid. Vivi finally gets back down. And that bounce might be huge here. Um, maintaining the difficulty of using Razor Leaf, however, Quid not um, worried about it one bit. That F smash spaced perfectly, and I think not only that timed perfectly, so that um, Vivi would do an option um, before he could react to the startup of that F smash. Mm -hmm. So that's a very difficult place to be because when that F smash is spaced right, it essentially covers everything, and the only thing I that you can't release on for uh, reaction is the jump. So yeah. that's where the timing And the spark lies. is kind of when you can start reacting to that move. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you saw, we saw that, Vivi was already... Ooh, actually, Vivi just gets back anyway. Kind of mm -hmm. a misplay right there by Vivi, I would say. I think you could, could have still possibly even have reacted to that um, F smash. Um, probably just a uh, miscalculation on Vivi's part there. Um, however, going to this game number two, um, I imagine we're going to be going to maybe a smaller stage, being at the big stage of Stadium. Ended up not working out too well for Vivi. Um, and Squirtle can kind of keep uh, himself in the face of a character like Hero. And I like the Lucario switch. Yeah, I'm interested in Lucario counterpick. I think Squirtle takes a big advantage of Hero's slow frame data in the early percent. So we'll see if Vivi can turn it around with some combos of his own. Yeah, and certainly the um, speed on Lucario is kind of a big factor here. While Lucario uh, certainly is not going to be hitting super hard early on, uh, Lucario is significantly significantly faster uh, than Hero. That ground movement is so, so good. 
All right, quick start here for uh, Quid, but uh, Vivi gonna be able to respond with a quick up throw combo. Looking to get back down to the ground now is Vivi. And now, once again, corner stage pressure for um, Quid. That um, Hydro Pump, so good. Oh, oh my oh, god! It's going so deep and back to stage still mm -hmm, is Quid. Excellent. We've seen some good usage of that today. Very strong edge guarding option. A very large hitbox, too, deceptively so. Um, closing out the first stock, an yeah. excellent choice. And on a character that does have a lot of startup on their recovery, like Lucario, that is so huge to throw out a long, lingering hitbox um, that is difficult to deal with. Uh, right now, though, we're seeing I think, Vivi struggle a little bit in keeping um, Quid in disadvantage. I've liked, so far, some of the ground game that Vivi has put out there. Uh, Aura Sphere is using that shield a little bit more effectively, I think. However, um, Quid has taken full advantage of some of the weaker disadvantage states that we've seen so far from Lucario. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, I think... Vivi has not done the same in response. Yep, this is really rough, right? Because you go from Squirtle, who's got this explosive, okay, if I press any button at the wrong range, I'm going to eat 50%, to Ivysaur, where, okay, I need to make the decision at the right time. So it's very small in changes, but the damage suffered is the same, in that, okay, I can just take a bunch of damage here if I choose wrong. And huge damage done by an up throw combo from Quid. Not looking really great right now for Vivi. Tries to get Rita jump. Ends up not coming out from Quid, and already at 76% is Vivi. That's probably it. That's nice. sweet spot. Yeah, and wow, a quick three stock by Quid to take it over Vivi. And once again, King of Westchester uh, moving on in this bracket, doing so well so far. In fact, Westchester in general kind of killing it in this bracket. Mm -hmm. So that was, I think, a really strong show. That change right there from Squirtle. Obviously, this is a really great edge guard to go out over there. But we see uh, the double jump burned and taking that over from Squirtle. And Squirtle's got a fantastic job pressuring right near the ledge for Ooh. recovery. And I then... Um, it's very easy. Oh, you know, I've got Lucario's up B. I can fade away yeah. a little bit. Squirtle's not going to chase me. Change and over was, to Ivysaur. And this was up. so excellent here. Mm -hmm. Recogni so most, I think, Ivysaur's there would have gone for a falling up air. But you see the recognition from Quid. Maybe the the spacing felt off to him where he wouldn't have been able to get that second up air after um, a dare on the platform. Mm -hmm. um, opts to go for a quick back air as the range behind it was bigger. And then true combos it. You can see Vivi's still in stun into up B. Oh, and that man. was such an excellent confirm. I think excellent recognition. I if I could just go back just a little bit there. Um, yep. Yeah, there we go. And that, so what I want to show here, I think, is mm -hmm. the recognition here by Quid. I believe where Lucario is here, mm -hmm. it's a little too far for that up air to hit. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go forward here, we see the back air, that recognition from Quid, understanding that that back air wouldn't have hit, or uh, that up air wouldn't have hit, and that confirms it from, from there straight into the up B. Mm -hmm. An excellent job by Quid. Super great recognition overall. Yep. Um, and just a dominant game in general. Yeah, and I would say the cognizance as well, being at just the right height with that down air to be on the platform and then follow up, I think was really smart as well. Very yeah. good placement. And using that Ivy's or down air, mm -hmm. strongest, uh, not strongest, but certainly one of the biggest down airs in the game. Um, no intro, we're getting right into it. Uh, we got Bobo versus uh, Tilde. Tilde are repeat champion, if you do not count Xenoslaga, of course, where Zamba beat him there. <laughs> um, with that said, uh, last three Xeno weeklies, uh, Tilde has won and has done extraordinarily well in, in pretty much every Xeno event for the past five or six weeks, mm -hmm. um, really since we got back. So we're going to see if Tilde can continue this in a matchup that he is probably not as familiar with based on his recent Xeno performances, and that is Snake. Um, Bobo hailing from Westchester similarly to... Um, to quid has done so excellent so far and it's already up a stock against bobo yep it looks like right there the reflector extending falco's leg on that actually got till they tagged by the c4 on that one and i want to just comment there that up air is so good and, and falco's jumps are so valuable against snake being able to get all the way up there to hit snake regardless of how high he goes and punish him for it is so good excellent use of the crawl right there by bobo that movement has been so good however now we're seeing till they do what he does best, and that is rack on the damage into stocks. Very good chases on here. And again, like you say with the jumps, chasing high where snakes really do love to go. Very difficult to pin Ooh. snake down. And tough situation for snake to get out of. Tilde waiting. Ooh, looking for an air dodge that time. Uh, he has showed um, ooh, a great recognition right there by Tilde. Uh, catching that high recovery once again um, from Bobo. 
Yep. Tech chase? Very no scary option. position on that because Tilde does like to stand there and wait sometimes to look for an option. So opting to try to use the C4 to catch that, but Tilde already in space for the kill. Yeah, and I love the utilization of, of Crawl from Bobo. It's been really good so far. Once again, Bobo utilizing Crawl gets in, in uh, advantage once more. Cross up shield with dash attack. Nice spacing by Bobo, but okay, quick option out of shield to dare in the corner now. And Bobo has done a really excellent job of those ledge traps so far. We saw that in the set versus Raptor. Mm -hmm. However, um, it's be. been really tough for Bobo to get a disadvantage. Oh, that's probably it. Uh, oh, all right. okay. the Cypher coming in clutch. However, we've seen Tilde dominate so far. It seems like it's really tough for Snake to keep up with the, 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 the speed and kind of the safety on shield that Falco has. Uh, once again, trying to catch this advantage state. Yep. I am liking Bobo's usage here of the C4 sticking close to the ledge. So if Falco wants oh to Oh my commit, god. Oh. Just well, a Fal clean call out. If, if on Falco a jump. wants to commit and gets the kill though, does it really matter? Yeah. Um, it's the thing is it's as Snake, you you really do want to stay grounded for the majority of the game. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is just a jump call out. The spacing, little wiggles back and forth, calls out the double jump and says, ah, mm -hmm. very cool. Jump above me, please. And you're not going to beat Falco in terms of the ability to jump that high. Like, yeah. nobody can get out of his range on that one. You always have to be cognizant of it. Yeah, and we're going to be going straight into this game number two, right back to Smashville. Um, I would have liked to maybe have seen a bigger stage here. Um, I think... Uh, Tilly did an excellent job of kind of utilizing how small the stage was and the limited options that Snake had a disadvantage. Um, however, with that said, um, the conf I like the confidence from Bobo. I think there are just certain things that uh, needed to be, um, you know, tampered with. Certainly, an adaptation disadvantage I think is going to come. Utilizing more B reverses, utilizing more um, trickier options to get out of disadvantage state. We didn't really see many opportunities for Bobo to do that due to the pressure um, that um, Bobo was putting on. But a nice C4 stick is going to put him in advantage state just for a spare second, though. Once again, back and to news. And we are seeing that smaller stage does come into Bobo's favor in these advantage states because less space means less real estate where Snake is not currently having an explosive or right. some sort of control down. Oh, death? That's going to be it for Falco. That F took coming out super duper strong in the corner. Bobo up a stock. Hasn't taken a lead yet in this set. That is a huge lead so far. Super important. Ooh, looking for that second place probably. Actually still had time to trade after the C4 detonation. Mm -hmm. Cool call. Nice, excellent timing there from Bobo, utilizing the grenade. Didn't end up getting a follow-up, but I like the idea. And the C4 utilization has been so good. B reversing himself out of situations, but knows they Oh? That was that was a, grenade that dropping to Nikita for cover? That was a crazy. absurd recovery from Bobo and allows him to get back to stage and get some extra credit. 92% is a nice spot to be in, but a genius recovery um, by Bobo. Throwing some C4s. That, that um, crawl is so good for, by Bobo. The spacing has been so good. Getting under laser. Oh, looking for that lingering hitbox on Bear. Doesn't end up working out. Yep, very good angle from Tilde on that one to pull him into the stage and actually take a little bit longer to reach the ledge. Actually avoids that hitbox. Okay, fair from ledge. This could be huge from Tilde. Does end up catching the jump. Oh, gosh. Really bad situation for Snake. Yep, baits the air No dodge. jump. Still has C4 to get back to stage, oh. but that is enough. And the advantage state from Tilde was so clean. Kept Bobo, know, knew the jump wasn't there, and pressured over and over and over again until uh, was, he was able to get the stock. An excellent advantage state coming out from Tilde. And that is why he has been one of the most successful players in New York in these past several weeks. Oh. All right, scary place to beat man just to get himself back down. Ooh, scary place for Snake to be in the corner against Falco. Excellent uh, roll reaction by Bobo. That patented down air, so good. Up air, not enough. Right. Yeah, and again, we're seeing these resets to the ledge for the landing. I like that. Less space available if Falco wants to go deep. You have to commit off stage, and that means Snake has a better chance of getting back. What an excellent mix up right there by Bobo. However, uh, Tilly has really only shown get up attack on those down throws. I would like to see an adaptation coming out from Bobo uh, before it's too late. I actually didn't know that mm. shark under the platform when he goes that deep. That's crazy. Ooh. Okay. Till they a huge lead here. Almost anything will take the stock. Forward air, back air, down tilt. Not enough just yet. Snake super heavy. Ooh. Misses a punish on dash attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was waiting for the yeah. punish. I thought that was it. 
Okay, Boba gets back to stay right. safely with the back air. Yep, ops to let go and air dodge to use that Cypher to try to protect a little bit. Oh, and that down tilt with enough range, just enough to take the stock. And Tilde will be in winner's finals once more. And it will be against someone who he's significantly less familiar with. His normal opponent, Zamba, down in the loser's bracket. Might be out of the tournament, actually. I don't even know for sure. Hmm. He's out. Uh, oh, so uh, Zamba eliminated by Sinji. So... Uh, Zamba out of the tournament. Tilde continuing success in winners. So it will be Tilde versus Quid. Um, if you are just joining us now, I am Unel. Mm -hmm. And I am Gretch. Good to see you guys. Hope you are having a lovely night, everyone. We have some excellent Smash Bros. continuing to come for you. Um, follow us on Electric. Two players that we have seen so far. The confirms on point. The, the damage racking, excellent. The ability to just keep their opponents in disadvantage for extended periods of time. So good. This is a match of giants in their field. Speaking of giants, I was just going to say Falco getting a lot of percent off the start there, but that could easily have been uh, Squirtle's conversion for his favor. And now we've seen, I think, something that was missing in our last set where Quid was on stream. The disadvantage stake from, from Pokemon Trainer is really the weakness of the character. You have Switch, but if Switch gets red, it gets hard punished. So, what Tilde has done so far has said, I am not going to let you out of disadvantage. Your mix better be on point coming down. And I have loved what I've seen so far. However, once again, Quid. Stage control, doing an excellent job. And Falco is certainly not a character with great advantage, uh, disadvantage state either. Um, double dares. Yeah. But if you never get put into that disadvantage state, you won't see the weakness. Now is the chance for Quid to show something. Ooh, excellent confirm. Yo. Gets that raise leaf into up air. Uppy. And that is one thing that has been so excellent so far for um, Quid is the uniqueness of confirms into Uppy. Raise relief. Uh, back air into upbeat have been so good uh, for Quid so far, and have really uh, these non traditional confirms that we've seen coming out from Quid have been so excellent, but equally as excellent so far. The control coming out from Tilde once again, casting that disadvantage state from uh, Pokemon Trainer. And a lot of rep with the lasers on that one stalls the aerial momentum, makes it even more difficult for Pokemon Trainer to return with the limited recovery, as you said. However, right now, Tilde in disadvantage state. Um, we, we're seeing so far, oh, that's gonna be a stock. No, Ooh. not on that one. Ups for the forward air, but the deep chase on that. Oh, oh no, sends the, wrong the other way. way. No jump either. That's it. Wow, <laughs> a reversal and a half by Quid, taking the stock lead. That is so beyond huge. <laughs> you know, I think Quid knew as soon as that edge guard was coming that he could do that. All right. So now we've seen a sudden reversal of this one. Uh, Quid now is stalking on the extra credit, and this could go very well. Falco with uh, not the greatest survivability, especially against someone like Charizard with rage. Ooh, and the excellent recognition there by Quid. Up the out of shield, armoring that landing hit of the forward air. And the reaction, so good. You see the immediate reaction to Sabi jumping over it. Ends up not getting a punish, but a quick drag down by Tilde is going to be enough to take the stock. We are going to need to see something pretty big here from Tilde. Here it could be. Oh, a potential huge confirm there. Only it's 32%, but certainly a, uh, a bit of percent that was necessary for Quid. Great reaction to switch. Gets the fair, and Tilde is right back in this game. Ooh, oh, oh my god! Yo! Yo! That was great. That was nasty! That was disgusting! Up he cancel! <laughs> Razor leaf! Into up air? See, Good cause, God! Because that, that up B cancel is somewhat of a liability, especially if you're oh. against a character that's gonna put out the hitboxes on the edge guard. But a conversion like that makes it well worth oh, it. Oh my God. And we saw uh, the dash back by Tilde, because who in God's good name is expecting that? Oh yeah. Good yeah. gosh! Uh, I, oh my word! I I think <laughs> I, I think it would be a miracle to find someone who wouldn't get hit by that any less than nine times out of ten. That's crazy! Wow, a incredible end to that game number one, an excellent game number one at that, to say the least. And Quid up 1-0 on Tilde going into game two. We're gonna start on small battlefield and a strong starter ready from Tilde, keeping Quid in the corner. Oh, missing that spike hit box. But gets back to stay safely, do both players. Yep, and Tilde not letting the loss uh, stop him from putting out this explosive offense that we've known him for these past couple of weeks. 
Right now, uh, once again, Quid has done such an excellent job throughout this tournament so far, maintaining that stage control. And right now, it's been super tough for Tilde to get out of the corner. Falco, is a, as a character, doesn't have the greatest burst. Dash Tech and Sivy are kind of the two biggest burst options they, the character has. Um, and it really hasn't worked out super well so far for Tilde with those two options. Um, and we've seen the attempt at combo starters um, have been avoided by, Til uh, by Quid, especially coming out of disadvantage. Um, and we're actually, we're actually seeing, I, I was curious about it a little bit earlier when we were watching some of Quid's earlier game. Um, the fair, I'm now noticing, is actually popping them up in a really great place to threaten with Ivysaur's up the Very scary early kill move and opens up a great mix of opportunity. Ooh, Yo, what a an excellent wall jump right there from Tilde, and it's going to pay off. <laughs> wall jump there into there. <sighs> that huge edge guard coming out from Tilde. Okay, misreaction right there from uh, Quid, but... Back was not enough just yeah. yet. Gonna live. Reflect the water. Nah. And that down air spacing so good by Quid. Just enough to take it. Um, and we're gonna see uh, an even stock in going into this game number two. Uh, stock two. Big potential combo here for Tilde. All right. Catches the air dodge with that up tilt. I think a slight delay there, in fact, from Tilde. Okay. And I am liking the slugging to get Tilde out of his combos on this one. As small as Squirtle is and as much as the reset potential is there, if you can hit him out of it, he's got to get back in again. Drag down. Ooh, misses the back it confirms. Uh, excellent DI coming out from Quid. However, the fair putting uh, Quid right back off the stage. And not be cancel. Gets back to stage. And those have been so good as a mix-up. It's really tough for Ivysaur to get back to the stage sometime. Um, especially on a character with edge guards as good as Falco, but an excellent advantage state there from Tilde. Takes the stock with that up smash, not letting Pokemon Chain land, which is what you need to do in this matchup. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that we're seeing in the previous matchup with Tilde. It's very difficult to try to get out of the way of Falco in terms of the air. And a lot of characters and a lot of players like to do that, but Falco can just chase you all the way up, no matter where you Big go. potential combo here. Nice 36% coming out from Tilde. Huge dare. He's back. He's back. Okay. Right. Ooh, oh. landing hitbox. Tough. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Side begins to dare from Tilde. Coming out. All right. Good roll. Back the air. On the oh! Charizard big enough where he had enough time to turn around and still hit that back air. We saw that miss on Ivysaur earlier. Um, however, um, this is a scary situation for Tilde to get out of. But Ooh. still, that stock lead so huge. Now, for suddenly, huge catches a roll in that shield up smash. Till it takes game number two. We're going to a game three. Mm -hmm. That the direction that Nair sent was really important because that just gave Tilde all the space in the world to set up whatever he could have. The mix up, the edge guard, ledge trap, whatever he wanted. And yeah. it wasn't a bad call because if that had gotten uh, a stage tech scenario or sent Falco back out, that was a really great position for Quid. Yeah, and I think what the, the big thing here um, that happens is typically when you see people run towards ledge in the way that um, Tilly did, did just there, ran from ledge over here. But Pokemon I think the, the thought from Quid, okay, he's going to keep running towards ledge. Tilly stops in place right here, sees the roll coming out in shield, baited it out. Up smashes. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go! Gonna go into game three on a much larger stage this time, so we'll see if the space will pay out for quit on this one. A quick start right now from Tilde. Quick up throw combo, as we have seen. Usually hangs around 32 to 36 percent. Huge combo with detail. Catches the air dodge, but does not get the punish. Nice. Good reset to ledge on that one. That was a trap by Squirtle there. Went to go for a uh, grab off of the air dodge, but reset to ledge and got out of it. Ooh, huge missed grab right there. Um, totally going to get some damage off of that. Once again, putting himself in an advantage. Uh, has stage control. Nice. Weaving through those hitboxes that Tilde was putting out with Squirtle. And this is a touch no jump. Oh, that might, that's oh, just yeah. it. The Razor Leaf Edge Guard, so good from Quid, knowing the limited options that Falco has, but up till back air, quick response from Tilde with that invincibility is going to take the stock. All right. Ooh. Gets with, through that side beam. Yep. Going out the neutral a little bit. This is low percent where both of them can do a lot of damage very quickly. Oh, quick down throw back air does a quick 30. Back stage. Oh, oh what a mix up on the tempo. And he's paid for it with 40%. What a yes. good call. And, and stage control coming out from Quid in the corner right now. We love the re reverse, uh, the raw back airs on the, that down throw. That's it. 
Nice. Yeah, huge stock coming out from Quid. Only took 30%. However, we know how strong Tilde's advantage state can be. This could still be a fairly even match. That's a huge that's smash miss, but not get, to not get punished. A fortunate right there for Tilde. Big for the regrab. And this here. is not where you want to be. You do not want to get regrabbed by a Squirtle when they've got a stock lead at low percent. An excellent high recovery, though. I love that from Tilde. Looking into the corner. Once again, has to get the stock here. Nice. Huge down air on the jump in uh, from Quid. Tilde takes that one. Only a 44% deficit. Still incredibly doable. On a stage like Town, where Falco can kill so early off the sides. Nice. Goes for the bait on that one. Tries to catch the landing with Illusion, but not excellent quite tech there. Chase from Quid. The Squirtle's been very strong in this game, number three. Ooh, one of the first mid switches we've seen um, on uh, from Tilde on Quid. Super scary situation. He manages to get down to the ground. Quick uh, reflector. Of course, that reflector is frame one. Super huge. Right there. Back air. Disadvantage for Ivysaur. Ooh. Super scary situation. Let's check it out from Tilde. Oh, quick dash tech to put Tilde back in disadvantage from Quid. And this has been so so tough. Ooh, wow, but that was right at the spacing for the read. Just oh my gosh, both players flubbing a little bit. Unable to get back down to the ground. No, I was able to. But nice. Razor Leaf Up B, that unconventional confirm that we've seen has been so good for Quid. Normally we see that Razor Leaf uh, into up air, that Razor Leaf into another aerial. But Razor Leaf Up B has been so, so good for Quid. And it's going to take that stock and take the set. Um, catches the roll in. Quick up B, that takes a set, and Quid, might I add, new champion potential, <laughs> is in winner's finals. Yeah, good work on Quid on that one. Those were definitely some sick conversions we saw on that. And honestly... God, game, game one, when a character like Hero has bounced such a strong tool against Pac-Man. Yes, an extremely strong tool against Zoners, and we're going to go to the neutral stage on game one for it. Ooh, quick run in by Vivi gets that percent. Bounce, huge to have right in the beginning of that game of the game. Mm -hmm. um, really limits Pac-Man's option. Pac-Man loves to have that Hydra now. Um, really a, a non-factor when the hero has bounce. Mm -hmm. And actually very scary as well, even if bounce is not up. Because that side B, the first thing it hits, it sends down the lightning bolt to it. So if Hydra is between hero and Pac-Man, and Pac-Man's close enough, he will still get hit. And this is a huge stuff of the game by Vivi. Um, already has um, Sinji at 88%. Um, and, Vi and uh, Sinji has certainly been aware of the situations where he can run in on, on um, Vivi with uh, that menu up. But Vivi has done such an excellent job with, oof, almost catching out with the Kaboom, uh, such an excellent job recognizing when he has to parry Pac-Man and is getting out of uh, disadvantage there or any situation that would be tricky. Pac-Man can trap him in the corner so well. Psych up is active. Um, f is going to absolutely be enough. An excellent reaction to that neutral getup by Vivi. And this is a difficult place to be because Pac-Man and disadvantage means that you have to make a choice between mounting your offense or trying to charge as Vivi gets his resources with and Hero. That Hydrant is like hyper powered, been reflected already. Uh, excellent recovery by Vivi there, going a little high. Pac-Man now has to go low. We'll see the ledge trap. Flat coming out from Vivi. Not gonna work out what running incredibly low on MP, but with that quick jab, gets 21. Uh, enough to ever get back to stage if necessary. Oh, missing oh, no. the double flubs from both players there. However, Vivi so far nearly a lap in, uh, a lap in percent on Pac-Man. Um, a really great start for Vivi. Um, showing strong uh, matchup knowledge here. Um, utilizing, you know, the space that he has on a stage like, um, like uh, Pokemon Stadium to open that menu, get as many of the buffs as possible. Get Bounce, get a Salarado, mm -hmm. get... Um, Psych up and the Solarado and um Yeah, I can I can never remember the name me. of the other one either. Yeah, the, um, the name of the other one escapes me. But, but all the boosts. Yeah, and the thing about that is that unlike Ooh, it, on a huge roll read in, mm -hmm. might I add from Vivi. Excellent job. Unlike in a lot of other matchups, this is one where I think Pac-Man can't run to the other side and get his win condition and outpace Vivi because the buffs, Accelerado, the damage buffs, I think do more for this matchup and allow Vivi mount an offense that honestly Pac-Man might not have the tools to deal with unless he's really charged Ooh. up. And oh. ends up not pulling zoom from the, the menu there. Um, however, Vivi in an excellent position here with a full stock lead. Um, and, and one thing that uh, Viv uh, Vivi has done an excellent job so far of is chasing on that platform. Hero kind of gives him the ability to have those huge hitboxes to do so. And Vivi has shown so far 
um, with the utilization of things like Nair, things like Up Air, um, mm -hmm. things like uh, Forward Air on the platform, covering so much space has been so good so far. Yep. And I am liking what we see from Ooh. Sinji into Oh, we got Hydra Cabos. Nice. Bouncing off the Hydra. Love it. All right. Yeah, I am liking what we're seeing in terms of when Sinji tries to apply pressure when he's not directly in. He's trying to stay at that mid range and bait out that an option from VV with Hero's uh, somewhat slower frame data. Yeah, that is one thing certainly that Pac-Man does have over Hero, is Pac-Man's frame data incredibly quick. However, um, these buffs coming out incredibly scary, and it is in fact going to do the full scoop there on up smash. Going to be enough, and what was formerly a huge lead from Vivi, um, looking kind of meager now, only 48%. Mm -hmm. And oh, speaking no. of Meager, ooh, missing the confirm there. That could have been a quick 50 or 60. Yeah, I wonder if Accelerado actually uh, changed that confirm up, changed heroes like gravity or something. Could have been f possible for sure. Um, and still a situation where now Vivi is kind of almost playing on the back foot. We've seen now that Sinji has kind of gone full mm. into a defensive mode, staying in that corner, no longer feeling the pressure to rush. However, Vivi with that side B puts himself into an excellent position. Corner trapping, looking for Nair. Mm -hmm. Gets back into the corner menus, gets the buffs. Yep. Huge damage coming out from Sinji though. A yep, little bit of a blood buff on that one, gonna take a clean 40%. Although I still think that could be a net gain if we could see some good offense here from Vivi. Oomph and Psych up on deck, almost oh killing with God. a single up tilt around 70%. No. And this is why Hero is so, so scary. Oh. All those buffs killing ex extraordinarily low percents. Oh! oh. Miss Tech! That's gonna do it. Vivi with a huge lead. A little bit upset about that one. Um, and Sinji's gonna be taking that game number one. After a really solid comeback overall, just played really solid. He started to get in Vivi's face. We saw the, the uh, Pac-Man's frame data coming out and being incredibly helpful. Use that fair. A single miss tech cost Vivi there. That fair is tough to tech, but that's one at 99%. You gotta hit that one. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Very strong. Um, not only good for spacing, but a decent out of shield option. Sends mm -hmm. very low the knockback pretty low on that one so it's pretty much always on the table and in the cards to get a tech chase scenario out of that so Sinji with good presence of mind to look for it super huge game one by by Sinji being able to take um, that game number one when the situation was so dire and now we're seeing once again um, so there are two kind of ways that Pac-Man has has so far Sinji has so far dealt with Vivi with Bounce. Uh, one of them has been simply to camp, and we kind of saw that uh, Vivi was taking advantage of that by just getting more buffs outside of Bounce. Mm -hmm. However, um, once Sinji kind of started getting in Vivi's face and pressuring the menu pulls, uh, it really started to be a tough situation for Vivi. Uh, got pushed into the corner a lot of times. No Bounce here with the, um, oh my gosh, weird angle taken there on the platform yeah, yeah, by Galaxian. That was super odd. All right. Huge sizzle for Vivi there. Gets uh, Sinji off the Hydrant. Psych up. Active. Oh, that catches cherry. the cherry. Okay. Huge fair, however. Sinji, once again, putting Vivi in the corner. Bell in hand, but an excellent awareness there. And I want to point out, <laughs> Sinji knows Bell's in hand. There mm. aren't big hitboxes that uh, Vivi can throw out without, the, without a Z drop. So mm -hmm. Shinji, with that awareness, saying, all right, either do a Z-drop fair or you're getting F-Smash. Mm -hmm. And he gets the F-Smash. Yep, very scary place to be when Hero cannot threaten you with his zoning abilities with very strong aerials, then he lacks a lot in keeping you out. All right, right now, Shinji in the corner. Ooh, gets clipped by the end of the Galaxy. Okay, we're seeing th this once again now. Slower paced game. Sinji can play his game when Bounce is not active. Sinji knows that all too well. Um, keeps uh, uh, Vivi in the corner. Using that up tilt to pressure the platform a little bit. Ooh, looking for a little bit of a thwack there from Vivi. <laughs> Little silly offstage thwack, we love it. All right. uh, but low on MP is Vivi. That thwack could have potentially been costly. Uh, thwack, I believe, is like 25 or 40 MP. It's a lot of MP. Mm -hmm. um, Bell is in play. Everyone oh. contends! Uh. And <laughs> Bell does just what it is known so so well for, and that is end lives. Yo, uh, what was that quick ass Pac-Man run? The, that must have been with zoom. the water. Yes, with yeah. water, Pac-Man can zoom. Yeah. Uh, nice wait out by Sinji on the Kaboom. Uh, however, Accelerado actually is super good ledge pressure. Um, nice little heal from Vivi. Get that percent back. Mm -hmm. Right. What's the move? Psych up. All Double right. buff. Yep, that'll. <laughs> and that fair, excellently spaced, getting over Sinji's fair uh, and full hopping to take that stock. Even though Sinji was a little behind, that fair hitbox was uh, under and behind uh, 
Hero just a little bit. Yeah, it's got a really good reach even in towards yeah. Hero. Very difficult to get out of the way if you're within the range of it. Yeah, all right, huge damage coming out here for Sinji and uh, excellent corner pressure so far. Uh, I would have maybe like to have seen that grab there. I would have thought Sinji would have done that there. However, continues the corner pressure. I like the low option with the cherry there. It covers Ooh. a very nice angle. I think it was trying to run off fair there in that situation or down angle back tilt. Um, okay, bounce coming out. This is Vin uh, Vivi's opportunity. Um, this hydrant is supercharged. All right, <laughs> looking for a grab maybe. Roll in. Playing Vivi, it out. Still trying to pressure that corner so tough and bounces off the table now. Yep. Uh, Going to be a while until that comes back, most likely. Um, and we're seeing really good play from Sinji here, not only waiting out these buffs and trying to avoid the danger zone, but also getting his own resources up a little bit out of time, charging out that bonus first. And here comes that bounce. That kind of throws Bell off the table. I like what Sinji did there. Uh, as soon as bounce came out, immediately went from Bell in hand into charging it, storing the Bell once again, uh, knowing that it would not be of use against bounce. Bounce off the table once more. Salad rattle out. Oof, out. Yep. We'll see if Vivi can make this huge comeback 90% to 28. Uh, misses a punish there. Uh, this is huge. Yep. Big fair. Keeping Sinji in the corner. <sighs> that shield looking tiny. Yeah, it's very scary. Once Hero gets lit up like a Christmas tree, it's all stress. Yeah, and look, we got all the buffs going. Huge sizzle coming out from uh, Vivi. All right. Huge parry, just gets the jab punish though. Mm -hmm. I do like the bait from Sinji on that one, charging up the bonus for it a little danger close to try to get him with the fair. Okay, that hydrogen's gonna be knocked out. Big bell. Yo, yeah, this is what he does! Oh, oh my god! This that's is it. what he does! That's it! And it's gonna be Sinji with a little <laughs> wait by shield, a little turnaround, <laughs> I'm gonna do a little shimmy, and then you're gonna go jump and you're gonna get caught. Excellent job by Sinji, recognizing immediately as this soon is what he does. Look, we, we saw He this. doesn't need to do anything. He's turning. He knows. He's turning. He's mm -hmm. turning. He says, oh, let's go ahead, 10 frames. Sees the jump. So Sinji says, okay, the mm -hmm. jump has come out. Mm -hmm. Immediately rolls back. Goes straight back to center stage. We see the jump on top stage. In fact, I think it was a double jump, in fact. I don't think Hero gets that high out of, without a double jump. Mm -hmm. And Sinji's like, okay. Now land. <laughs> uh, and immediately knows that because that hero doesn't have uh, that air mobility, that ability to kind of get around um, Pac-Man's excellent landing coverage, gets that up smash from Bell and takes stock. Yep. That's going to be it. Sinji 2 0 over Vivi. And not only is it difficult for Vivi to land in that situation, holding shield before, the only like decent option he had to counter that was grab. And you are yeah. tempting fate by going, yes, I will activate my grab in for 10-ish frames or so. If there's a bell out there, I die. Yeah, characters. We got Pac-Man versus Snake. Ooh. We got some. So anticipate that we will be playing this game um, and there will be a lot of trades yes. and I'm, there will be a lot of uh, trapping um, at ledge for both of these characters. Yes. I'm kind of interested in how this is going to work in terms of setting aside their stage space, right? Because Pac-Man doesn't need a whole lot to work with and if anything, it's all about trying to goad you. Snake similarly, but Snake kind of invasively creates yeah. space for himself. And so this is a situation where we, we've seen Sinji, as soon as he takes the lead, can kind of play the game that we, Sinji's so well known for. Maintaining center stage, going back into the corner when necessary, charging fruit, putting a hydrant down, uh, making it ever so difficult for people to get in. Excellent oh, bell grab um, by uh, Bobo. Ends up not working out. However, get rid, get rid of that trampoline. Says, I want access to the whole stage. Does Bobo. Yep. And oh! Huge uh, tech roll in reaction. Covered so much space there. Mm -hmm. Did uh, Sinji with the strawberry force Bobo almost to, to tech roll in and uh, or baited him into rather. Yep, and, and I, it got the F smash. And the catch on the landing there was very good too. Bobo actually making it in time to spot dodge, but Pac Man grab very active, actually punishes that. Now we're gonna see, once again, Sinji keeping to those platforms, and I like it. While Snake has ways to pressure those platforms, they are certainly slow. Um, using any aerial, or, ooh, okay, big backdoor down, uh, into the uh, C4 there. Gets a nice little bit of percent from Bobo. Um, but we've seen Sinji keep to those platforms so well. Um, and really, uh, whenever Snake has the ability to pressure, Sinji's out of there. Mm -hmm. Once All again, right. gotta get back down. Yep. Bobo does so successfully. Catching the landing on that one. 
Apple. Oh, uh, Apple will do it. Yeah, a little bit of a misty eye right there from Bobo, and it's going to be the end of his stock. Um, an unfortunate situation for him, but Sinji taking a huge lead uh, going into this game. And I say huge because even though Snake can kill early, Pac-Man is going to be hard to catch right mm -hmm. now. Yep, it's very difficult to pin Sinji down on this one. And although Snake can commandeer a lot of space, oftentimes it's at his own pace. And if he's trying to knock the opponent down and keep them in one spot, he needs to know where they're going to go at all times. Ooh, and I like the way from there from Sinji saying, all right, you're going to land, come down to me. Bobo ends up getting out of that corner, though, and now Bobo has that stage control. Gonna need to take a stock heat. You really can't take too, too much more percent from Sinji. I love the dashbacks of Tilt That Hydrant. Takes a little bit more damage. Once again, Sinji to on those platforms, knowing how difficult it can be for Snake to pressure those. Yep. And another thing about the belt is that it creates this enormous space directly in front of Pac-Man, which is extremely powerful. And if you go for it, you might even grab it if you're good with it, but then you can catch whatever Pac-Man is doing right in front of that, and you just eat a bunch of extra damage. Those off are so tough to deal with. One of the best ledge trap moves in the game. Uh, and Sinji is going to fall to one of them. Gets a fair in for his trouble, so gets a little bit of extra credit. <laughs> I traded with the dash attack? Yeah. Oh my god. Super spooky stuff right there for Bobo because was in a little bit of lag. Sinji was unable to get a punish, but now has Bell in hand. Going to wait for um, yeah. Bobo. That bell disappears, not enough. Apple hasn't really huge in this matchup. I think we've seen because Bobo's been moving around those platforms, playing center stage, doing V-reverses, throwing that Apple that position covers so much uh, uh, vertical space that Snake wants to be in, uh, as well with that really nasty horizontal uh, angle that it goes down at. Mm -hmm. We're actually seeing a remarkable amount of verticality, especially right now from both of these players. We've seen a lot of high hydrant hitbacks from Bobo on the defense, or rather offense against uh, the hydrant on that one. We've seen Sinji going high, again, using the apples, like you say. Very high up and not too grounded on this one, honestly. Yeah. Certainly, I think Sinji's game plan has been to stay in the air. A huge punish right there, just barely getting the punish on that air dodge. And Sinji's going to be up a, uh, a similar percent to what he was in the last game. Going for down throw, interesting mix-up. Normally goes for up throw in those scenarios. Mm -hmm. Right, I think it, that was supposed to be a chase from Galaxian on that one, but nothing doing, it looks like. Oh, ooh, Skitch choice could have maybe even got, gotten grabbed there from was Bobo. Uh, however, Sinji, Galaxian, Hydrant. Bad situation to be in the corner against Pac-Man. Sends the Hydrant the opposite way. Interesting. All right. <laughs> Snake trading with his... Oh, my God. Ooh, Apple coming in huge again. That up tilt. Pac-Man's up tilt doesn't have a scoop hit box. It really only is directly above him. Going to be a tough situation for um, Snake to get out of. That Apple coming out. Yep. And a lot of really tricky angles and uh, properties Ooh. with these fruit. Have to keep on your toes on this one, because although the Galaxian and the Bell are the most common from Sinji, he can pull the bonus fruits out any time, and you have to be conscious of that. Yeah, and speaking of bonus fruits, that Bell is out. Sinji maintaining center stage, waiting for a position where Bell can come out, get, get himself a chance to grab it. But that C4 placing is so good by um, Bobo, and a huge uh, armor coming out there from that side B to get past that Bell, allowing Sinji to preserve the stock just a little bit longer. 70% is an excellent lead, so so far and gonna get a little bit more yep. all right actually opting to go off the stage on that one giving snake the chance to chase with that really good hydrant on that one a very favorable angle oh no that's it no way that's oh, just enough no. even on snake because of the rage built up by sinji essentially at max rage able to kill with that up smash at an early percent for snake to be dying out was a right right around 90 ish percent before the hit i believe Mm -hmm. um, uh, super early. Yeah, let's yeah. take a look at that one 80, more time. Uh, okay, we are 97 already. Yep. I over the bell hit, a little bit. 106. One and six. Yeah. Now, Uncharged. Granted, for Snake, that's still kind of on the low end. Snake yeah. is not a light man. No, Snake, real heavy. Mm -hmm. So 106 is not the percent you want to be dying out of Snake, unless you are, of course, getting a nice little trade that is in your favor. Mm -hmm. um, but with that said, um, Bobo has certainly, I think, struggled getting that stock off. Pac-Man has been evasive. Sinji has been evasive, keeping to those platforms. And I think immediately, an interesting thing that we've seen so far, look at the placement of the C4. On that platform, gonna be trying to keep Sinji off of it. I think it's gonna be Bobo's strategy moving further on into this game number two. Yep, not only keeps Sinji off of the platform there, but takes away a little bit of the potential vertical play that Sinji could potentially opt for on that one, which does make it a little bit trickier for him to set up Hydrant as well. Okay, big dash attack. Gets, uh, manages to cross up there. Uh, Sinji, no punish. Big trade for Snake there, allowing Bobo to maintain center stage, but immediately loses it. Uh, Sinji, once again, retreating back to those platforms. Has a little bit of lead, loses it. Um, Sinji now going to have to approach a little bit. Um, 
Gonna have to wait right. for State to come to him. All right. Does so, and, and once again, now Snake back in that lead. All right. Scary place to be goes for the grab. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> the dash gone. tries to keep Sinji in the corner there. But a big key back to stage by Sinji to make sure um, there was a lack of a ledge shot there. With Snake in that corner mm -hmm. and Bell in hand, this is a scary situation for yep. Snake to be in. I like the idea of putting the C4 down where the Bell is, trying to dissuade Sinji from grabbing it again. But uh, Sinji still managed to get his hands on it. Yeah, and that Bell no longer back there right now. However, Snake in the corner. Uh, Tekro Lin. Sinji has read that before, so we're going to see if that comes out again. That uh, trampoline on the ground gives Sinji a whole lot of space. Trampoline and Hydrant uh, give, uh, give Sinji so much time to charge through. Set something up. Maintain, uh, you know, pressure from the platform. Ooh, okay. Just barely getting out of the way of the bell. Ooh, in the corner now. Sinji, ledge trap. Ooh, Ooh what a bold to, grab! Tried to catch a roll in, and Bobo, excellent positioning on that grab to not get hit. And we're seeing a lot of trading with uh, Snake's normals on this one as well to beat out Hydrant as it comes in through Down the air. Tilt. Still not enough just yet. Mm -hmm. But we are at that lovely percent, 162 or higher. Nice. And didn't even need to do a down throw. You're mm -hmm. just dead to the up, up smash. Yep. I'm not sure that there's a way out of that once the first mortar shot hits your shield. I wonder if that's like a true block string it into the grab. Very well could be. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, it is one of those things where uh, now Bobo in the position with the lead. And we have... Arguably the least fun character to fight for Sinji here when it comes to um, being in the lead. However, Sinji says, I'm going to have all the fun I want, and I'm going to get this lead right back. Quick 30. Uh, but yeah, Snake, Snake is one of those characters that if you can maintain the lead, so huge. Pac-Man, similar story. Uh, maintaining the lead is so important in this match. You can make your opponent's life a nightmare if you can maintain it. But so far, uh, it's been tough for either player to do so. Both players taking it fairly evenly. Those up flashes coming out say, come here, Sinji, land on my... Lend them my uh, mortar right yeah. now. We're, we're, we're seeing actually a lot more of these sort of aggressive committal options from Bobo trying to get in and sort of break the space to get in zone, uh, Sinji's face on this one. Um, because Sinji is uh, sort of winning this war of attrition on this one. We're seeing a lot of the bonus fruit come out, and Bobo is occupying a lot of space with these explosives, with the grenades, with the C4. Super but scary roll right Not there, too yeah. much conversions off of this one. Sinji doing a good job of staying outside of the danger zones. Oh my god. Let's go. Ooh, okay, tried to re-roll back since he rolls in. So I'm maintaining center stage at all costs there. Uh, ends up being... No, it's still active! Oh! No! No! An unfortunate set of events there for Bobo. Oh and it's almost god. gonna be enough. Uh, it's gonna be just enough, rather, to take that stock. And Sinji with the lead. This no. is what we mentioned. We saw ha the longevity of Sinji's stock in that game number one. Mm -hmm. Can he maintain that? and make this situation ever so difficult for Snake. It looks like he'll be able to, All right. but the last hit of that dare dropping costly, even though he got that 76%, could have potentially gotten more. And now Bobo has a chance to, to continue on in this game, in this set. And you see, when uh, Sinji went down on that one, Bobo went to meet the Hydrant once again with up tilt. Sinji there for the punish with the Nair. Chase. Ooh, tries to catch that rolling with the grab. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the forward squish? All right. Says, uh, uh, look at my sick RPG. You haven't seen this all set. <laughs> um, up in the air now, though. Disadvantage for Snake. Not going to fall for the same trap as before. All right. Yep, just playing it slow with the bell. Don't need to do anything else. He's just waiting for the opportunity to get the kill. Although Key on deck right now. And I like, I kind of like this utilization of Key. Um, it has been tough for Sinji to kind of get that final hit in. Okay, we're going far oh, away. Oh, I the, see. The wave from Sinji was nice, but what I lo loved there is saying, oh, I'm going to down smash and like, mm -hmm. and Bobo was like, okay, well, I'm smart. I'm just going to wait for the Hydrant to push this away. That was I'm so say, silly. All right, Bobo knows. He's like, okay, I'm just going to wait for this to push you away. And as soon as it pushes away, as soon as it's going to go this way, Pac-Man's going to be safe. Mm-hmm. No punish on that. And then since he's like, aha, you've fallen to my trap. That was um, that was like a 150 IQ and 50 oh, IQ and play he, at the same time. It was so oh, stupid, he, but he, it was so smart. He dashed into Hydrant um, dashed into Hydrant oh, yeah. as well. And that's even if that wasn't the option that Bobo had chosen there. If that was a jump, that's still a potential <laughs> Hydrant up there on that one. All right. Let's see that Yoink. again. So, yeah, once again... 
it's so, it's just so silly. And like the, the, the di <laughs> double silliness here. <laughs> oh my god. Double silliness here. Yeah. Because the, oh the dash my in. God. He, he just does the stop. Pegmentar. Yeah. And the dash in here by Bobo. You can see it there. <laughs> gets caught behind Hydrant. Oh my god. And that's going to be it. However, we're moving on to the Losers Finals. Mm hmm. Hi, Manel. Yep, I'm Gretch. Uh, good to have you with us. This is, that was a crazy set. I yeah. feel like we saw a lot of really cool stuff on that. I would love to have seen items thrown at the end of that set. Like mm. The number of items thrown. Had, oh, the number yeah. had to be crazy. Like, okay, in Losers Finals. And with that said, this is a matchup that is incredibly interesting. With that, we have a character that has the ability to zone, has the ability to pressure Falcon disadvantage state, but frame one reflector it's yes. so huge in the matchup it's so difficult for a character like pac-man to deal with because of the simple reaction ability from till he's just hey say, hey this is out um this is your, these projectiles are now your problem yep um and another thing that we don't often see with reflectors actually got a very forward disjointed hitbox on that one as well so it can be thrown out from a range without making too much of a commitment which makes it very dangerous for cindy to just eat a potential random reflector on that one and get caught with his own uh bonus food okay big combo coming out to start off until they already has cindy at that 100 percent mark looking Ooh, big like reflector that. again you can just react to that fruit coming out um so huge for Tilde, oh, big conversion here from Sinji, though. Has the lane disadvantage. Looking for a ledge shot now is Tilde. That backer coming out. Mm -hmm. I like the return to the platform on that one. Not looking to go too far and catch a Falco aerial. But an excellent recognition there by Tilde saying, ha, huh, you're going to drop shield right now. And up smashes it. Mm -hmm. Taking a page from the Fox mains, both mm -hmm. the up smash and the neutral to mm -hmm. get the kill. Ooh, ends up not getting that last hit of the um, forward air. And Sinji's able to block. Um, huge to avoid a massive amount of damage. <laughs> uh, Sinji's like, okay, yeah. don't bully my hydrant, but do what you gotta do. And Tilde uh, having a huge. Uh, Ooh, oh, okay, we got, we, got, we got Schmix. Good yep. recognition by uh, Tilde there on the uh, water push. Has to get out of disadvantage now. High recovery. Uh, oh, oh, scary it place. Works. Nice. All right, got out of, out of there. Super nice mix from um, Tilde in disadvantage. And we're gonna see if. Um, if uh, really, since he can start getting something going here, it's been tough so far for him to kind of win the neutral against a character like Thaku, who has these big hitboxes, has um, the ability to reflect Pac-Man's projectiles instantly. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a situation where it is best out of that reflector. However, Bell still scary, even with that being an option. Yep. And another thing about the reflector with Falco 2 as well is the end recovery. Typically with the spaces, you've got the flare up and then the quick bat down, but Falco has to commit to it. Yeah. So if he's wrong, he is open for a punish. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. nice little confirm. We got uh, Fode Nair into that grab. However, once again, back off stage in the corner. Missed reaction there from Tilde on the neutral getup. Doesn't catch jump to Sinji. Huge fair landing hitbox comes out, uh, ends up catching uh, Sinji, dropping shield, looking for a conversion, ends up getting the up air and unable to get bare at that percent range. Mm -hmm. I'm liking this vertical chasing as well with the reflector. Keeps any uh, hydrants out of play on that one, potentially catches Pac-Man, all disjointed. Huge dare and Tilde, the hit confirms, so good. Recognize dare hit, immediately goes for the back air. Okay, Sinji. Uh, a oh, excellent recognition there that uh, Tilde was in lag on Hydrant. Um, oh, oh, oh actually, out of spacing. I don't think either Smash could have caught in that scenario. I think he had to cash out with a forward air. Yeah, I think that would have been a forward air or back air situation. Um, okay, big dare for Sinji, taking it off stage. Yep. Once again, though, Tilde backstage, trying to get uh, down, maintain st stage control. But Sinji's done such a good job of that in the second stock, trying to not let this lead get too out of hand. A big laser mm -hmm. in the corner. Allows Tilde to get into a, new, a position of a neutral win. Now 51%. Oof. Oh, actually eats the laser. Oh, but a big reflect coming out there. Yep. And we are seeing as well here, um, Tilde can pull this patient play with Falco, especially with the reflector and the laser getting little bits of damage here and there. And they do, um, the lasers especially, having a little bit of knockback on it makes it difficult to approach against that. Now we're seeing the ledge shot coming up from Tilde. Can Sinji get back into the ground? Down a full stock, a tough situation for Pac-Man to be. We know that at times Pac-Man can struggle to kill. You need to get a stock here. Mm -hmm. 
Got the reflector on that one. Cherry, Cherry to go down. low. That's probably it. Ooh, Ooh. missing the confirm there on side B. But Dare, still a little bit too high for that up air. Yep. Looking for a grab? No. Oh, oh get schmixed! Oh, yeah. You got schmixed! Oh, my God. Just high enough. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbed him by the scruff and tossed him. Oh, I thought it was a little too tall. That's uh, unfortunate for Tilde. Right. Still, though, even with the lack of rage from earlier, unable to get a confirm. The oh. Nair? Ate the Galaxian yes. with the forward air. What is yeah. in his plumage? Yeah. How does he do that? Look, he got uh, toes of steel. But he's got uh, wings of steel, maybe, Look too. Look at that. Yeah, just, just, yeah. Look. Actually traded from behind, or clanked from behind, Look. but um, ended up have, uh, not uh, eating up, it up, even though the hitbox was there. Yeah, just clanks with it two, three times. Yeah, because see, yeah. the, the first time when it went over, I was like, okay, that's a whiff. That was a really good spacing on that one. The yeah. second one, it's like, oh, no, he's just eating it. All right. Oh, so. this controller drift looks like. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So let's fix the controller drift. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. Uh, Falco. Glad that didn't happen in the middle of the game. That would have been unfortunate. Um, but once again, Falco and Tilde looking very good in that game number uh, two. Um, and we're gonna, or game number one rather. We're going into game number two. Uh, and we've seen the level of difficulty for Sinji in these situations. Um, the reflector's been so tough. The disadvantage has been maybe even tougher for Sinji. Um, Falco getting back to stage. Yeah. And I think we did see one important note about this. With these walls, you cannot go deep with Alka to avoid things like mm -hmm. Hydrant. You have to eat that. Ooh, big tree right there. Um, allows uh, Tilde to ma maintain that center stage position that he has done such an excellent job of maintaining throughout this uh, set so far. Sinji, though, the ledge trap has been super strong on Kalos, and as you've mentioned, I think the li more limited options from Falco on a stage like Kalos, where Pac-Man can cover so much more, have been a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is <laughs> yeah. This, this is just this, how it goes, this man. This is Bell. We're, we're, we're officially spooked. Tilde is back to stage. Oh. He's able, going to be able to get that punish on that grab. A Pac-Man's grab just not quite fast enough to punish. Falco getting back to the stage. All right. I like the little drift from Sinji on that one. Just feeling out the airspace, but not committing too hard to anything. All right. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Excellent Risky shield right it. there. Doesn't end up getting punished too, too hard. Just an air. Um, big reflect. Gonna get a, a quick up air in to get back to stage safely. A situation where this could be bad for Pac-Man, and it is an excellent parry forward air. Up tilt into into up air. Gonna end that stock. Tilde is taking the lead against Sinji and gets a quick side B back air for 21%. Yep, I am interested to see what Fruit Sinji will go on, because he actually had the key on that one, and I think that I like that in terms of trying to counter the lasers on reaction, potentially. Yeah, we'll see. However, so far, Dare, that's a strong move now. That's going to kill. Um, so Sinji has uh, it stuck in the corner again, and we've seen Tilde taking advantage of this so well so far. However, Pac-Man with that Galaxian in hand, the potential for damage is huge. Managed to get out with that spot touch. Big damage here, 38%. Nice. There, not hitting uh, till they get able to get that shield out in time. Yep, it looks like the first hit actually whiffed on that one, so didn't give him the punish on the get up. I love it, the triple reflector mm -hmm. on that uh, hydrant there by Tilde. Um, Sinji now with that stage control, gonna be charging fruit and putting that hydrant down as his tradition. Kind of just stalling a little bit to make sure uh, he has those fruits in hand to deal with Tilde. Um, Tilde, though, has been so effective at the counterplay with that um, reflector. Gotta keep Sinji at the stage. Looking yep. for a jump, doesn't get it. Yeah, I'm liking the chase, though. Looking for that two frame as well. Misses out on it there. I do like that Galaxian covered exactly that jump space that Tilde was occupying right there, so a good way to get back to stage. And a great way to maintain the advantage. Excellent air dodge coming back from Tilde to make sure he gets back to stage safely. I'm not uh, in getting involved with that hydrant there. Um, looking for an opening now is Tilde, putting some lasers out there, uh, stalling Sinji's momentum as Sinji attempts to uh, force Tilde into the corner. Bad situation right. here for Tilde, though. Yep. Gets a night. That wall drop is huge for Falco. That is one of the few benefits of the stage. And Wagon right through that hydrant is mm -hmm. Falco up B. That fair is not going to do it just yet on the big stage like Kalos. However, once again, the ledge traps have been so good. Nice. A, a trump, but an immediate reaction by Sinji to get out of there. Yep, very good choice on him, especially to go for the Nair off stage on that one. Pretty low commitment as far as um, offensive choices go on that one, but sends him off at a very good spot. And, and I've been loving the adaptations of both of these players in disadvantage. We 
saw right there just a little while ago, uh, Tilde was able to be reversal laser to kind of mix up his recovery, getting back out of the stage, out of the corner. Um, <laughs> Look at the shield frame. Yeah. This Look. is like Smash 4 levels. This is this is how you Oh, he tried to oh, triple it out! And it went the wrong way. But that is how you have to play this matchup once you have fruit in hand. Mm. So do not let um, Pac-Man get that back as much as you can. Do your Z-drops. Do mm -hmm. whatever else you need to do to keep that fruit in your hand for as long as possible. An excellent angle by Tilde. Ops try and go for a jump read with that down tilt. Doesn't end up working out. Right. But the Apple, not enough excellent DI by Tilde to survive that situation. Yep. Big wall jumps. Big techs. Back to stage. Yep. Very good. And I do like the wall jump back here on that one to try to clear Sinji out of the way if he was trying to go for an early hitbox. And a solid down air by Sinji, catching that recovery once more. Um, and now Sinji with, with his uh, first stock lead of the set, I believe. Um, and once again, in the corner, yep. we've seen the corner pressure from both of these players be so good so far. Um, really trading those positions off, um, but getting a max amount of damage when they are there. But a quick side B up air, reading that fruit charge and taking the stock does Tilde. Mm -hmm. And 40% is absolutely not a bad deficit for Falco to come back from, especially Tilde's Falco. Yeah, Tilde, we know the damage rocking capabilities, but we also know the damage rocking capabilities. <laughs> no! He's not actually! Why? Oh my god! I'm so confused. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so confused. I, I, I kind of can't believe that he died to that. I can't believe he side me directly into it. I'm so confused. I think now let's assume that that was an intentional choice. I think the call there was to try to get the side B through to go under yeah, because I, that like covers maybe, the jump space. I'm trying to think. But maybe it was a B reverse or turnaround laser. Maybe. That seems more right to me. That had to be a misinput. <laughs> that had to be. I just don't want to believe that it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, Sinji capitalizing very well. Going into game three on this one, even 1-1. One, one. Right now, all right. And we like the small stage choice. Obviously, Kalos was going to be the pick from Sinji. Didn't there jump? There is jump still. Okay. Excellent pre preservation of that by Tilde to make sure that he's still going to be able to get back to the stage despite all those Pac-Man fares. Ends up get, uh, getting through that high jump with Saibi. We're seeing a uh, little bit of uh, information find out from Tilde. Uh, however, needs to get it going here. A little bit of a lead here for Sinji um, and has been been able to evade uh, the Falco hitboxes so far. That Saibi though nice. not going to be evaded. He is, has done an excellent job adapting to that hydrant placement. Side being right through it and hitting Sinji um, for a combo. Yep, that was, you saw Tilde just stood there for a second. He's like, okay, where's the hydrant? Where's the landing? And was ready to punish it with illusion. Very nice. All right, All right now, ledge trap time for Tilde. Looking for that back air, ends up missing out on it. And now, reversal of situations. Sinji has Tilde in the corner, loses the positioning. And Try another thing about breaking the Hydrant, typically because that holds you in place, that's an opportunity for Pac-Man to punish. Ooh. Oh no! And I think without a jump there, since he was forced to air dodge, I think maybe meant to do a normal air dodge. Oh, Ends up doing a okay, directional yeah. one, and that took the stop. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate, but 137 is still quite a high percent for Tilde to be at. And a, the Pac-Man fruit, especially things like Cherry, do an excellent job of catching that side recovery because of how long they're out for. Big text coming out from Tilde. Surprise, these aren't untackable yet. Yes. Uh, but they're huge for Tilde in, in preserving this stock. Gonna see if we can see some extra damage come out here. Mm -hmm. The apple, I like the placement, but it just wasn't enough. Yep. Especially about that apple, that was still in play there, and then the water from the hydrant also mm -hmm. shut it out in case Tilde was trying to retreat. This is some, some damage coming out from Tilde now. Ledge trap, no jump. Doesn't end up uh, getting the recovery. However, Big, big on the orange. Orange goes through lasers. All That's right. going to be a missed tech, though. That's going to be the stock. Only 52%. Not too bad of a deficit for Sinji to come back from. Mm -hmm. Actually, looked like the weak hit on that one, so gave him even less time to tech on that one. Oh, no. I thought that was going to be a jab block for a sec. All right. Actually, went over the reflector. Interesting. So back into neutral now for Sinji, looking for that landing from Tilde, looking for a Roland, doesn't uh, get it from um, Tilde in the corner. Once again, up throw, gonna get that dare. We know so well Ooh. how good Tilde is off of those dares. Dare into up tilt, dare into that um, double dare into a back air. However, 
Not working out so far. Excellent. Uh, air dodge there to grab the bell. And now um, in the corner, does still they have Sinji. Those back are so strong uh, for him thus far. Yep. And I, he wasn't facing the right <laughs> way. <laughs> that was bizarre. I, I will say um, I, I do like that Sinji respects when the bell is not his when it's reflected on that one. Not just because there's a potential to mess up the grab and get yourself killed, but also because it is an interest point and it's very common for opponents to go, oh, that's where the bonus fruit is. Let's toss out a hitbox. Big down there looking for the recovery back to stage. Let's check comes out from today. An excellent reaction on that get up once again. Gets that up smash. He's been doing that very frequently so far in these sets. Great. Ooh, looking for that double down air. That was Love in play. Laser placements. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looking for a roll in there was Sinji. I like um, the idea. However, uh, till they not falling for it. Looking for that dare on shield once again. That dare has been so a huge term so far. But Ooh. a dare of Sinji's own to be able to take that stock and only a 23% deficit. A better situation than Sinji was in stock number one. You've got to take uh, account for into that. Um, but we're going to see a, a continuation of what Tilde's been able to do so far. Those combo game, the combo game has been so good. Missed out on the combo there. Yep. That was actually pretty nice, though, because if that was shielded, the water actually pushed him away and prevented a punish. Whiskey get up attack actually doesn't suffer a punish for it. Ooh, nice roll by Sinji. Gonna be a, a big punish here. Oh, but Pac-Man with that excellent frame data. Gonna be able to get out of that situation a little too early in the percentage for him to get uh, up throw down air into uh, up till back air. Actually tried to grab the Galaxian on that one as well as putting out the fair. Uh, the illusion? Okay. Missed punish there from both players, in fact. Yep. Phantasm. It's uh. Honestly, I don't blame him because it's very difficult to be like, oh, Phantasm, this close, really? Yeah. And then, oh, and I he just loved, waited. I loved how he did a little shimmy back and forth, mm -hmm. turned around, and had that up smash out, was ready <laughs> for the roll in, and as he has done in previous sets so far, ready for that roll in. All right, shimmy. You, you can roll in now. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> little shimmy. That's the classic. Does a little, does a little, I'm looking one way, uh, I'm looking the other way, yeah. I'm looking to look back now. Wait a second. And you're gonna roll. Why am I struggling oh. with this? Okay, get over here. <laughs> so, stay, follow our Twitter, house. Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, sub, look, support. This grand final's gonna be hype. Yeah. Sub the house. We're getting right into it. Tilda versus Quid. We are on Town and City. They are going to be dying so early up the side. The combos are going to be so strong. The advantage is going to be so good. Both players have been so excellent so far this tournament. And we're starting off with a big combo from Tilde to get the ball rolling. And let's see the response from Quid. Looking yep. for the landing. Yep. And we actually saw a really good response in terms of that falling aerial to get out of that and then started the combo of its own. Uh, Quid keeping even percent because of that choice. Back to the ground. Quid maintaining that advantage state. However, a misplaced Raze Leaf is going to get punished by Tilde with that fair from ledge. Yep. This Looking is for a reflect. Big punish coming out now. Yep. Now, see, this is where if you're Quid, you don't want to get help and hit up into the air because you've got no platforms to return to. They just come back now. Ooh, and a wait there. I think Tilde recognized the DI was really a little bizarre there from uh, Quid and was able to get Quid out of that situation. So once Tilde recognized, I am not in a position to back air. I had to come back down and it put him in disadvantage and allowed for that charge on FTL2 to eventually come out and hit. But a side back is going to be enough to take that charge on right out. And we are moving right back into even stocks in this game number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a big whip punish. Yep. Ooh, but a missed grab right there. Um, Double up air, back, oh no, it's straight to back air. Right. And we've seen so far how potent this Squirtle has been at uh, maintaining advantage state against Tilde's Falco. That down tilt not going to be able to Q-frame. Yeah. Actually a little uh, conservative on that one, not often to go out for the uh, ledge guard, or edge trap. Edge guard, jeez. Oh goodness, a big tech actually from Quid would have ended up under the stage there. It's a tricky situation. Um, so, uh, totally good recognition to go for that dare there, but uh, even better recognition by Quid to make that tech. Okay, now Quid, speaking of, in advantage state, looking for that fair, looking for those confirms into up That up air, any move at this point will do it in for Falco, any conversion into a move that F2 will put Falco in the corner. Yep. 
Oh, nice. that attack, that was a whiff punish. But nice. the up is going to come out anyway, and, take and out Tilde. Qu Quid doing an excellent job on this one, not just sharking and make it difficult for Tilde to land, but also trying to hold center stage. Even when Quid had made a misplay on that one, gets sent to the ledge until they had stage, rolled right back in, establishes dominance over the neutral. And a missed fast fall on that uh, fair there. Ends up uh, not allowing Tilde to get that stock, and a missed back hit. Okay, we're playing with boxes uh, on that on the down tilt. Oh, oh no. All right, good tech. tech. And we're back stage. What? Both what? players are back. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Big tech's coming up from Tilde. Survivability is the key here. As we mentioned, who is better in disadvantage may very well decide the set. Tilde's been so strong so far. But, turns out up E. Excellent Yo. DI there. Yes. Going to be able to get Still out. Still living on this one. This is rough, though. This is a very, very angry Charizard at high percent. And catches that jump fair. We've seen that come out, option come out from Tilde, and Quid says, I have seen that coming out from Tilde. It's my turn to punish it. You are in a lot of lag after that. You, you click that fair, um, and that up angle charge on F-Tilde is going to be enough to take it. Mm -hmm. And we see there, of course, the excellent defense coming out from Tilde in that recovery with not only the text, but the angles chosen as well. But I think we saw um, just a little bit better from Quid in that playing with that advantage state, but not pressing it too far. Getting that punish with the up out of shield set the momentum to end that game. And we're going to see, this is potentially our last game of Grand Finals. Tilde going to small battlefield. We're seeing so far how Quid has been able to dominate the stage control game, has been able to be so consistent in disadvantage, uh, and the opportunity here to be a Xeno champion certainly has to be on the mind, but you got one more game to cap it out. Absolutely, and I do like, again, we're seeing some of that Quid's patience on that one, they landing with the dare, and then waiting for the up tilt to go for the grab punish on that one. Ooh, looking for a drag down there, almost able to chase with that dare to end the stock, but not enough just yet. Squirtle coming out, keeping Tilde in disadvantage. Ooh, big up tilt. Nope, nice read by um, Tilde, but still not enough just yet. Big text. Are we back? We are. Charles yeah. will be able to get back to stage. Oh, and no. the read on the jump by Tilde takes a stock. A huge stock number one for Tilde. Mm -hmm. Very scary in that situation, because you would have to burn the air dodge just on the assumption that it's going to happen. And you're not going to get out of the way with Charizard's big body at slower speed. I like, really like the use of Water Gun by Quid the Force. He gets the Vanisade out, and we see once again that raise the leave up be so clutch for Quid uh, in those uh, need stock situations. Um, off the ledge now, once again. Uh, both these cats are struggling in disadvantage that we saw how good Tilde has been at keeping and uh, getting those those offensive guesses right. Ooh. Oh, and Squirtle's way coming into what play. What a conversion off the tech chase. That down air into back air, killing Squirtle before the hit on down air. It was like around 50 or 60%. We mm. were low. And that is huge. That is why if you can keep Squirtle out, getting those stocks real early can be a big benefit of that. Tilde taking advantage there. However, now that Squirtle showing why it has been so potent, Ivysaur gets a punish. Yep. Looking for an up air. Just barely whiffs. Yeah, I do like the choice by Tilde on that one side beat to remove himself from the Ivysaur mix. Almost gets uh, outed. Ooh. Oh, the what coverage was so good. The trap. By Quid, excellent, but even even better right now. The advantage state coming out from Tilde. Big punish. Yes. Sidey back air. A lot of damage off stage on this one. Tilde's gonna get the chance to set up some ledge pressure. Double up air, just barely not enough. We were on the line of the blast zone. Spacing out a little bit on this one. This is definitely a bit of work cut out for Quid. But we've seen the ability to do it. 29% is a nice start. Gets underneath the Razor Leaf. Nice. Big trade. Oh, it's gonna be it. Yeah, That's gonna be yeah, it. yeah, yeah, very nice. The hit confirms from Tilde have been so good. It is not easy to react to that down air, get hitting it in neutral, and then immediately going for that back air. Uh, Cause you have to turn it around, might I add. Remember mm. here, down air, and pause, has to turn around before he does it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Devin and I have the same <laughs> idea. And then has to go for that jump up back air. Yep, a very good call on that one. And you see, too,
Quid had that offensive momentum going, but then till they just snuck in and suddenly Quid was on defense go, uh, what do you mean I'm on defense now? And till they just didn't leave until he had the conversion on that one. Very scary to deal with an explosive offense like that. And we are back to the stage where Quid one game one has been dominant so far in the sets between these two players. Big up tilts, gonna get some damage. Stalko off the stage, no jump. Gets back to that platform safely, but Quid gonna go down, maintain that stage control. Yep. Now, the pressure in the corner by Tilde, so good so far. Big parries. Good reset on that one. And speaking of resets, Quid doing a good job of waiting to get down to the ground before the spot dodge to not get clipped by the Falco up air. Up throw. Big damage for Tilde there. Nice. Oh, oh there's the bait. All yeah. right. And we've seen so far, Tilde has adapted to the timings of um, Ivysaur, or the switches from Quid. Um, Ivysaur now out, and we've seen so far how good Quid has been with this Ivysaur. So close to taking stocks at dangerously early percents we've seen with, oh, the weight. Ooh, excellent DI by Tilly to get out of that situation. Parry on the back air. Fair's not gonna be enough just yet, but the um, DI to live there from Quid, very good. But the situation, not looking good. Tilde, once again, has been in the corner. Miss grab, no whiff punish. Looking to cover that. Uh, Whoa! And that back air just barely outranging the offensive option from Ivysaur. <laughs> okay, that was some DI, but we're back at even stocks. <laughs> yeah, we're getting back on the even. All right. This is a great way to start the stock for Tilde on this one. Quick 66 coming out. However, I I disadvantage. Be another down there. I thought it was dead. <laughs> Yep, that's just not quite spaced out on that one. Kind of difficult to space your stuff out to be safe with Squirtle, even though he's very quick and not too punishable on a lot of his moves. Nice little turnaround there once again by Tilde on that down air. Big down air, gets the back air. That's a huge stock for Tilde. Opportunity for the reset here. Up, almost a full stock. Can Quid make this massive comeback and be a Xeno champion? Or is Tilde going to be able to push this to a second set? I'm liking the patience here on this one, not looking to commit too hard, holding onto that center stage. Massive damage coming out right now, 46% on a character like Trainer, um, with Squirtle still out. And Squirtle really needs to be out, we've seen the effectiveness of Squirtle. Ivies are now disadvantaging, missing the timing on the neutral getup, that is so costly. This is going to be huge damage. Okay, that also dragged down into the... Um, the, the nair uh, dragged down into the up not a true combo with this percent just yet. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, and I like the slow place that Quid is playing at here, but Tilde's just got these zone breakers coming out with the Phantasm. Ooh! And a big dare call out on the jump in is going to take that stock, and a necessary one. A similar situation to what we saw in game two. An opportunity to clinch out uh, the set. Um, right now, already, though, at that 103%, we are one Thoughtful Confirm away from this set moving into a second grand that finals. And oh my god! Okay, that hit. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got shoes on his feet, too? Or shoes on his hands, too? Jeez. Okay. Um, yeah, for those that are uncertain as to what we were talking about, uh, if you missed it, you could have blinked and missed it. Um, gets back down to the ground. That up till comes out. And, and um, this hit. Yeah. Let's, let me... Let me da, 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 da. Can we enhance? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go... All right, let's look at the positioning. Yeah, so I, okay, so Whoa. Ivysaur's little footsie, <laughs> Ivysaur's little baby footsie, you can see there, is in Falco's foot as it's swinging back. Mm -hmm. And that is what is why Ivysaur gets hit. It is a game of inches. It is a game of pixels. That's like, that's like a Power Rangers yeah. kick, not even anywhere close. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going into a new set, which is lovely for us because it means we're going to see some more excellent Super Smash Bros. Yep. And a great start from Tilde. 53% looking so nice so far. And really, the adaptation from, from Tilde and disadvantage over the Quid has been so good. Zero to death. That is the end of your life, Quid. Uh, you're down a stock. What is the response? Right now, the response is Tilde's getting a whole lot more damage still. Mm hmm. He's got one point. Okay, 16% on the board now. Looking a little healthier, but this is not a great start. Who's gonna have a lot of work to do here. Oh, and that fair nearly hitting Ivysaur. Up he cancel, get yeah. back to stage safely. And a similar jump call out to what we saw Quid do in the last game, a jump call out from Tilde, and this is dominant. Oh, Do yes. Straight 
utter domination by Tilde. Has he lost neutral once? Uh, Has he lost neutral we'll once? We'll find out. Ooh. All right, I am still liking that Quid is throwing out these hitboxes on this one, but this is a really bad situation. That one hit too. <laughs> that one hit too. He didn't lose neutral once. I don't think he lost neutral one time. What do you mean? How has these sets been so, so close? And then this is what happens. Goodness gracious, a huge and really nice jump call out uh, there by uh, Tilde. Yeah, that jump call out was good. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> losing neutrals for sucker, says Tilde. I'm going to just win the game without losing it once. <laughs> that was God. some baloney. I love it, though. I love the baloney. That is, this, is this what they talk I about? Mean, when <gasps> okay. What? He what? Said, All right, you want a zero to death me? I got, oh, I got no. some, I got some stuff. I, oh. I don't know if this is an admission of defeat. I've never seen Quid play this character. Hard to say, but uh, we'll see going forward. Now, twenty-eight percent isn't bad. We, and the, uh, the thing about New York is we really don't have any active Luigi's. Um, and this is a matchup that notably can be pretty tough for Falco, and it's working out so far for uh, for Tilda or for a Quid, a quick, um, uh, you know, 110% already. And I have never heard or seen of this character from Quid, but we are seeing something brand new mm -hmm. coming out. And this it's this is really interesting to see because it's. The neutral is a little straight. Like, that is an interesting call. Yeah. But, um, all right, has to land. Luigi does, similar to um, trainer, struggle to land. Has yeah. to make sucks. That down B is certainly very nice. <laughs> That's not going to be no. enough. And in, look, the Luigi has already done my. Oh, no! No, okay, okay. okay. Excellent, okay. excellent SDI there from Tilde. We don't need a free. It's, it's okay. I, we got the SDI. I know. No, <laughs> I, I, it's, it's like, you see the first three seconds, like, oh, please, God. All right, big. Yeah, it's still out. not enough. Yep, still. Oh, oh I got the platform. Stuck on the platform. <laughs> <laughs> we're just banana bonkers. Hannah Barbera uh, scream. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what we're, though, we're that, not, is, the mo that is the most good. Luigi way to die is just walking slowly on the platform as it goes away. Right. Oh. I will say we're seeing some good usage of uh, Luigi's Nair on this one to trade his way out of Tilde's combos a little bit. Okay. Oh. Nice parry coming out All right. from Quid. This should be a really nice amount of percent yeah. for uh, Tilde, and, or rather for Quid. Yo, the catch? That's excellent, you're dead. This Luigi kind of looking schnice. Yeah, this is kind of putting in the work right now. This is a good lead. This was a, an excellent switch. I think uh, this is, you know, based on the pick of, um, you know, Town oh, and City. Only so much to, space to run. All right. Let's not get stuck on the platform again. We don't want that. Yeah. Big back air. Right. That's gonna be it. Okay. More We're traditional even. way to lose the stock on this one. We're on even. Oh, that was spooky. Um, oh, yeah. we're, we're at even percents, this even is, stocks. This is the Luigi neutral. This is the I'm gonna throw out the grabs with no guilt. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the floor. It's so funny. Uh, it's I like love Luigi. plumbing, plumbing. I've got the plunger. I'm going to grab you. Oh, okay. All right. The fair's there. This is a potential X guard here. Okay, right. down to into fair. Back into neutral. Uh, out of the corner for Quinn. That's a lot of damage. Down Ooh. the So good in that placement. I actually do like the uh, the Zera on that one to potentially catch a landing on the platform. Not a lot of damage, but does rack it on and cover that option without any risk to uh, Quinn. That should oh, be it. Be the Up till though. back air. No. Not enough. Luigi's got some weight on him. All right. On the stage, what's the dash attack? Immediately, get up, dash that attack. That move's good now. That, they made that move okay. That, I know, uh, but <laughs> you look. It, it takes. Oh, you're dead! Oh, you're dead! Oh, we're going to game three from zero dash attack. That's how that ends. I mean, the awareness. Oh my god. The awareness for that. You know, there's, there's, there is a sense of abandon here, right? You don't, as a sane person, nobody gets up in a tournament stock situation with, yeah, I'll Luigi that dash was, attack. That was Zare, a true combo. <laughs>
Zair <laughs> dash attack to kill Falco. Oh my god. At just over 100% after the hit. They this made is, that this move is, good. This is like a Xeno AU. This isn't real. This isn't actually happening right now. I would love to see Quinn pull this out. No bias, but this would be the, the amazing. The Luigi has worked out. Yep. The Falco dominated. All right. Gonna this take is it. the final. Oh, no. Okay. This is the final decider All right. of whose combo Ooh. character will come out on top. Okay, double right. up tilt. Knows that he can't get a true combo there due to Luigi's Nair. Yep, I do Down. like the patience. And wow, th th and we're kind of seeing the difficulty that, that Tilde's been having getting back to stage. Fal no! Falco's <laughs> air mobility is, is, is certainly on the weaker side. Um, nice. Right there. Uh, that's still able to make it back. Oh, oh Miss Tech! But we're back. Still going to okay. make it back, yep. So that low percent, we're still making it back. Savvy back air. Tilde in advanced state. Gets the ledge trap, misses out. That down beat gonna get punished though. These wake up options are something else, and, man. Okay, I don't think, I wanna say that that could have been the DI, but an air dodge at full hop height, oh gonna god. be costly. Where it even stops once again. Oh god, this is it. This is the Luigi danger zone. All right, and see, we're seeing it too, is that Quid is also playing around at catching these jumps from Tilde, but this is a whole bunch of damage on this one. Oh, a missed dash attack though. Keeping Tilde right. in the corner. What is it? Ooh, I would have liked yep. to have seen a grab, but still, nice call out from the quid. Gets that jump read. It's so scary. Even there. at a percent where you're outside of the zero to death, it's so scary to stay in range of that grab. Yeah, I mean, still, there's so much you can get off of that. Looking for that up smash. Doesn't get it. Looking for a Ooh. second one. Gets punished on the corner of that stage now. Nice, a good nice angle. Beefy down B there as well, uh, with an excellent angle to put that hitbox there. Mm -hmm. Actually, times it a little differently as well with that angle to keep him out of the two frame with the down tilt. Oof. Gets past that up smash. Okay. This one looks good. <laughs> this is so scary. Oh, we're dude. back to stands with an up air. The ledge jump has been so good, but so has the disadvantage state. I said it was the key. And goodness, the players have really lived up to the hype okay. when it comes to that. Oh, sour we spot bear. back air. Yep. Gonna see a little bit of the, the crawl. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're yep. crawling. We're walking. Yep. And this is off. this is a really strong tool from Luigi having that back air. Down tilt. Uh, even though I missed the eye, not enough. Okay. Up there though That'll is it. until it takes a stock lead. This is it. We are at the last stock for Quid. We're at dangerously close to the last stock for Tilde. All right. Ow, what a catch on the jump. There. Bear oh. techs. Nice tech. Okay, this is huge. Right. Big extra credit time yep. for Tilde. 21% is, 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 is already a decent spot to be in. You want to get more. 31, good position. All right, going for the death tech Turn again. Turn great punish. All right, Ooh. hitting his way down again with that Nair. Very good combo break option, very quick, and covers Luigi very well. An excellent angle avoiding the Luigi back air. All right. That no angle come. really pulling in a lot of work, keeping him away from those stage spikes. And not only that, the survivor ability has, all, has allowed him to get back to stage and get more damage. Like, that's so, so big. And going for a lot of these dash attacks, uh, open himself up to some extra damage on this one. He could probably still benefit from the rage, but at 167, hasn't closed out the stock. And this is a lot of extra work that Quid's making for himself if he manages to oh, close it out. Oh, the back air is enough! Hey! And we avoid a new champion. I'm sure Devin's happy. <laughs> Tilde is our... Although, I, I must say... What a pick! For Pete, Quad Pete's Xeno Weekly Champion, Tilde, look, I have commentated a lot of Super Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. I commentated when John Numbers was dominant in Smash 4 at Xeno. Mm -hmm. I commentated when Dill was dominant in Smash 4 at Xeno. I commentated the early parts of this game where we were seeing Dill and Numbers and all these other people dominating the game early on. This feels different. Yeah, this is strong. And we've only really seen, uh, this was a great showing, honestly. The Luigi pick seemed to throw uh, Tilde for a loop on that one, but Tilde pretty dominant. We've seen Zamba try to hold him down 